Hello everybody and welcome back to another aviation videography live stream here today here in Melbourne where the current time is 6.05 a.m. and on screen there you can see the Rex 737-800 currently pushing back. We're going to be in for a pretty good stream today guys. Let's see who's in the chat. Kirsten Mills, Miss Wolves 13, Jackie Hughes. Wendy Cutler, how is everybody? <coughs> it's quite a bit colder today compared to the last stream that we had where it was uh, blisteringly hot. But I've got, I'm joined out here with uh, Matt as well from HD. He's going to be coming on, on live in a couple of minutes, just setting up some final things for the show. Alrighty. Uh, they did have runway works going on here overnight. So runway 3 has just opened back up for operation now as we speak. So sit back, relax, get your coffee, get your tea, get your snacks. And we have a show ahead for you. And what a great, no better way to start the show than a uh, Emirates A380 which is currently on final for Rome 34. It is EK406 arriving in from Dubai, now on final. And to anyone just joining in now, welcome. I've made it just in time. Made it just in time for Emirates. <laughs> Perfect. Good day, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. A very early start for both me and Sam today. Indeed. But no better way to do it than out here at Melbourne Airport. That's it. And we got Emirates on final, so no better way to start the show this morning, guys, than a nice heavy. That's it. Starting with a bang. Starting big. Going big at the start. <laughs> Going big. 
<laughs> and Alrighty. where is she? There, there she is. There it is. EK406 from Dubai, guys. Let's get this on, on the big screen. So we should get two A380s uh, pretty much in yeah. the next 10, yeah. 15 minutes. If uh, the if departure did. leaves on time, which it should, they're pretty good. Yeah, there's no reason why it shouldn't. They've had all night to turn yeah. it around. <laughs> <laughs> there's no excuse. And yes, trust our Darren, Sam and Matt behind the scenes here at AV. Behind the scenes. And George. Now there's a concept I dread for the viewers. Say again. There's a concept I dread for the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There it is. Slowly and coming in over Keelor at the moment. And we'll be touching down on runway 3-4 in just a moment. I do love at night how you can see that it's actually got four engines from so far away. It's so distinct. Hopefully the sound is a little bit better now. Apparently we're a little bit quiet, so I've upped the sound. Yep. We will do our best to try and talk into the microphone as well. I swear the settings never stick. Like, uh, we fixed it last stream, then like we plug the mics back in, and there's another issue. Vanish. Vanish. Disappears. And here it is. Man, what a good way to start the show, though. The perfect way. There she is, gracefully touching down there. No, it's hard to believe, Sam, but when we're doing these in December, it was broad daylight right now. When the 380s yeah. will come in. Broad daylight. Now we're still like an hour and something away from sunrise. Yep. So QF36 isn't far, guys. Currently downwind. That's at A330-200 operated by Cornus. Downwind for runway 34, so it shouldn't be too far. On screen there, we can see a Rex 737-800. That one's going to be taxiing out to runway 34, most likely taking the Juliet entrance, heading up to Brisbane as uh, ZL202. I did see recently Rex retired one of their 7.3s. I think we caught that in the stream, to we be did. honest. It we did. Going to Alice Springs to be, what, parted out or something? Yeah. Scrapped. It was actually one of Virgin Australia's first 737-800s that they had. Really? So what happened was is... After Virgin became Virgin Australia, after Virgin Blue, they acquired a lot of 73800s. Um, ran them through the fleet, through COVID. Rex acquired and bought, I think, five 73s from Virgin. And um, yeah, it was one of the. Obviously, Virgin sold them one of their older ones. For must, must have been a cheaper price, and now they've gotten rid of it. it must Apparently have been. It's costing them too much to one run. They're like, ah, oh, we don't want to refurbish it. There you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Enjoy it. So, well, speaking of Virgin, we've got one taken off there. Indeed. Taking taxiway Juliet. Just entered uh, the runway is velocity 803 up to Sydney. That's going to be their first, first one of the day up to Sydney for Virgin. Definitely got a fair few international connection passengers on there.
There we go. We're getting some takeoffs now. I can see them all taxing up. And our good friend Paul says, Hello, morning to you two, Sam and Matt. Great to see you back with Awesome Night Physics live again from Melbourne. Keep them coming. Hi all. Greetings from the UK as I'm eating dinner. Smash the like, folks. Thanks, Paul. Great to have you here and thanks for tuning in. Glad to hear you're enjoying a bit of Melbourne action on this lovely Saturday morning or Friday evening for yourself. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. We've got plenty to come still. This morning we're going to have a lot of special liveries as well. We're going to have the Jarman United Dreaming livery, which I think is one of the, the coolest 787s that come here. That's going to be popping in. Uh, Qantas is sending in their 100th livery as well on the Los Angeles flight. There's going to be two Qantas LA flights this morning, the LAX Express. Yep, we've got two of them coming along now. That should be great to catch. So one's going to be a 380 and the other's going to be that special 78. That's going to come throughout the morning. We've got some big things coming and we started at a great time because we're going to get the, the tail end of the 6 a.m. rush. It is a shame because they were using runway 27 as we were setting up. So we're watching things like Latam and Garuda all using runway 27 for their arrivals. And there goes that Rex 737. And off it goes. The takeoffs don't stop. We have a Qantas 737, which is taxiing out now to runway 34, taking taxiway Juliet for its departure. Indeed. And Graham Ellis with a $8 donation. Oh, Graham, you superstar. Thank you very much, Graham. Says, have a great stream, gentlemen. I'm still in bed, but thinking of heading to Ops Road. Oh, nice one, mate. Well, should be a good day for it. Weather should be good. So thanks again for the awesome donation and the support, mate. goes a long way. Thank you. Do hope you continue to enjoy the stream this morning. Stick around. We've got a lot more to come. That's uh, QF402 up to Sydney. The first milk run for Qantas now rolling 3-4. That'll gracefully lift out and track north up to Sydney. And off it goes. Indeed. Yeah, Ops Road wouldn't be a bad shout this morning, I think, Sam. Today, especially. With the 380 coming in and everything else, definitely worth it. Definitely. It's, it's hard to sort of argue against going out to Ops Road. And here we go. As we look towards the arrivals, we got QF36 from Singapore coming in. This one's a classic flight, this one. A classic flight. This one used to be operated by the 380 back in 2019. Yeah. I'm still waiting for it to come back. Yeah. I remember when we flew this two years ago and I snuck into, like, I think it was like a couple of free seats so I could lie down and sleep. Yeah. I remember when the guy came to wake, wake me up. It was just like, you gotta get up, you gotta get up. We're gonna <laughs> land. <laughs> oh, and they got their uh, inspection lights on as well.
There we go. Solid arrival there on 3-4. Indeed. So good to see the tail all lit up. The whole plane, did you see? Like, all the yeah. engine inspection lights were on. Like, everything. It was lit up like a Christmas tree. The one thing about the Qantas 330s that I love is just how much they lighten that thing up at night. Yeah. They really want to show it off. They knew we were streaming. <laughs> so to anyone just joining out here for the first time, my name's Sam from Aviation Videography. This is Matt. Good day, guys. From HD Melbourne Aviation. We're out here on the 16th of March, 2024, filming at Melbourne Airport. Current time is 6... 18 a.m. So it's been a pretty good morning so far. We've c caught two heavies. <laughs> In 20 minutes, go 20 us. 20 minutes, still more to come. Go us. But uh, if you're joining for the first time, welcome. Do hope you enjoy the show. Stick around because we're going to be here for the next couple of hours, probably until at least 11 o'clock. At least. We've got some specials coming in, so I think it'd be worth a watch. Definitely. I hope it'd be worth a watch. Indeed. Speaking of heavies, we've got the Philippine Airlines A330, which is just pushed back over there. Operating is at PR2102 Manila. They operate a really wacky schedule. It's all over the shop. Who, Philippines? Philippines. Some days yeah. they come at 8 a.m., some days 5. Yeah. Sometimes they leave at 6 a.m., like now. Yeah. Who knows what's going on there, mate? All over the shop. Kind of wish Cebu would do the same, though. Yeah. Like, it, there's no bigger nuisance <laughs> than Cebu Pacific coming in at, like, midnight and then leaving at 1 a.m. Oh. It's not good. Crazy hours. And they love 27. They love it. Runway 27 is just the Cebu runway. Yeah. And Gary joining in from Stansted in the UK. G'day, Gary. Good old Stansted. Anything good be coming there lately? I know that Stansted always gets that government stuff. Like the Saudi 7-4, like the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You know that one, Sam? Yeah. Like that constantly goes to Stansted. Oh, really? Yeah, and the Bahraini uh, 747 as well. Oh, is that that? The Kingdom ones is like that greenish yeah yeah yeah, yeah that one that's, that's the exact one they always get yeah you know what it is it's the it's the Saudi royal family yeah going on holiday in the UK that's it and what a place to holiday huh. what a crazy lifestyle they're just thinking yes you know I'm free this weekend I'm gonna go pop over to the UK There you go, Philippines making its way hopefully over to runway 3-4. Put it in the chat, guys. We need it to turn left. Command it to turn left. If it turns right, it's going to go to 2-7, and we're not really going to get a good view. There we go. Look at that. Turning left. That's what we want to see. Good stuff. So we're going to get the uh, Philippines 330-300 runway 3-4 right in front of us, guys. Happy days. There it is. Cabin lights all on. It is lit up like a Christmas tree. As it taxis up to runway 34 for its departure. Off to a good start. Indeed.
<laughs> oh, what do you know? This does work as a mouse pad. Yes, indeed. There it you is. go. It is. It is. In typical Matt and Sam fashion, we did forget one thing this morning. That was to bring the mouse pad. Yeah, I know. But we, we found a little alternative. <laughs> it's like this synthetic bag, and it just works. There's just enough, uh, I would say, ridges and, and for, the, for the mouse to recognize that it's on a uh, surface. Because the table that we're using is too smooth. Like, it just reflects the laser back, so it's just not going to uh, recognize where the mouse is supposed to be moving. So just having a bit of a chat about something while we wait for Philippines to go up. Has anyone seen the new Terminal A that opened up last uh, late last year in Abu Dhabi? You know, crazily enough, I've had the experience of walking through the new terminal yeah. and having absolutely no idea that it's the no new idea. terminal. Yeah, compared to the old one, it's uh, obviously a lot more modern, it's newer. Uh, well, of course, it's just been built. Yeah, it has the capacity to hold, I think it's up to 65 million passengers a year. 65 million passengers 65 a year. 65 million passengers that's, that's a year. That's at least, what, twice as many as Melbourne with the yeah. four terminals. Yep. <laughs> um, I think it has, they have 49 gates, but it can hold up to 79 aircraft with remote stands and everything like that. So it doesn't really count, though. 79 aircraft, but with remote stands. But, no. So some gates, they can fit two aircraft. You know how at Melbourne Terminal 2, if, uh, gates 10 and 12, if they park, they can park either one aircraft there, being a wide body, or two narrow bodies. Do you know what oh, I mean? Oh, okay. Like two A320s in one 777 parking spot. We'll get back to that, but first, let's get this Philippines A330 departing Enjoy off to Enjoy this Manila. one, guys. Well, there's our next highlight, Sam. Next highlight. Let's have a look on flight radar, guys. What no, no, it's right there. No need for flight radar. We've oh, got it on no screen. No need for flight radar. There we are. It's on sneaking screen. around. Emirates uh, EK409 now taxing out for runway 34. So apparently the Terminal A, they call it now. So Abu Dhabi Airport, uh, all their airports were numbered. One, two, and three for the terminals. But now they're going to be letters, so they're switching to Terminal A now. And so they're setting a trend. They're setting a different trend, that's correct. And um, all of the new flights are now pretty much departing from Terminal A. Terminal 1 and 3 have been closed now. So Terminal 1 was like their main terminal prior to Terminal A. So all those Terminal 1, Terminal 3 now being closed. However, they did say if the demand increases, they could see the reopening of potentially Terminal 3, but not Terminal 1. I think That's it, the 49 gates have now moved to the new terminal. Exactly, exactly right. It's well, a satellite terminal, this new one apparently as well. Is it? Yeah. See, I couldn't tell because I was there under the cover Transiting. of darkness. Yeah, exactly. I had no idea. Yeah. Have a look at that, guys. EK409 on the big screen. Not too far out to depart from runway 3-4. Apparently, cost them three billion dollars to build it. Three billion. I mean, so they haven't used it to increase capacity. 
Uh, no, I think they have because the older capacity was only at 45 million passengers a year. Right. So essentially, they got better check-in areas. Yeah, all the check-in areas are absolutely insane. But really? capacity-wise, they've they've increased it a fair bit. And have a look See, at have a look at a photo of it. Yeah, I know. I've I've seen the uh, the floor map. I actually experienced it. Yeah, it's well, I you cool. know I only experienced the food court because I sat there for eleven hours. Yeah, and yeah. I had no idea. Um, when I was walking through it. It didn't twig. Like, I, I do... I have been through the old Terminal 1 and 2 and 3 or whatever of Abu Dhabi. Yeah, yeah. And it really didn't twig that this is a new one. I just kind of like... I was so tired and really? so ready to come home. I remember... What, I see, the thing is, last time I was in Abu Dhabi was just prior to this Terminal A opening and I was in Terminal 1. And I just remember... And it, it looked old to me. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just gave me that vibe it was old. That impression that it needs to be upgraded. Yeah. Well, for a world airport like Abu Dhabi, like... It's uh, it makes a lot of sense that they would try and increase the oh, capacity definitely. and and definitely. the overall look and feel of the place. Yeah, look at Emirates there. Doesn't that look good? Highlight of the morning. That's two A380s within 30 minutes. Ah, uh, nothing better, mate. That's it. For a minute, Melbourne looks like a really good airport. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what they do with these abandoned terminals as well, because I know at Heathrow Terminal One. That's closed. Is it really? Terminal 1? Terminal 1 at Heathrow closed. I don't even know what year it closed. Um, Terminal 1 closed in 2015. 2015. You know, it's been closed since. It's Terminal still 4. there. It's still there, but right. it's just closed. Well, so can you imagine how eerie it would be in there? Well, maybe they rent it out for parties. Give, give the old British send-off in Terminal 1. Rented out for parties. <laughs> Rented out for parties. Sam and Matt Cam say cheese, says Darren. Cheese. Come on. Say it. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Terry becoming a 737 class member. Thanks very much, Terry. Welcome aboard. Great to have you. Welcome to the AV family. Indeed. I hope you enjoy the membership perks, Terry. Thank you very much. But I think for the longest time, Terminal 4 was closed. And I remember I actually went to London in, uh, what was it, 2021. And it was still, you know, during COVID. So they had lots of terminals closed. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like they only had, I think, Terminal 2 and 3 running. There was Terminal 5. Oh, no, Terminal 5 was running. Terminal... Yeah, Terminal, Terminal 5, 5 definitely would have been running because that's like Because that's the terminal main, I went through. That's their main big one for BA. Yeah, it is. It is. I think it's their main one for BA. And I remember to get to my hotel, I had to go past Terminal 4. Yeah. Like I went on a bus and all that and I kind of like got off too early and, and went to Terminal 4. There was security everywhere. And like I was trying to have a sus to see what's going on. Yeah. And it looked like it was like some kind of like quarantine area. Like, I don't think yeah. it was, but it looked like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they had security around. They they yelling at me like, you can't be here. Where, where do you think you're going? And then I'm like, oh, I'm trying to get Where do you think you're going, Geezer? Get, get back there, my man. Geezer, what do you think you're doing? And I was trying to explain to them that, like, I was trying to get to the hotel. And they have, they weren't having a bar of it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you didn't have to come through here to get there. Didn't have to come through here to get there, Geezer. I was absolutely beside myself. But speaking of Heathrow, Melbourne's looking like a mini one now. Like, can Dude. you believe how many Emirates A380s go to that place? Where? To Heathrow. Oh, yeah. And Qatar. It's uncanny. Eddie had as well. Eddie had, like, that's like a three a day now. Yeah. It's a shuttle service. It is it's a, a bus shuttle, shuttle service. It's insane. Alrighty, guys. 409's just holding short at the moment. No we'll arrivals. Get we'll get her on the big screen, though. There she is, EK409. And Christina, no, this one's just about to take off on screen. We had the arriving EK406 a bit earlier in the stream. It looks so cool though, the cabin lights all lit up. 
I'm just looking at some photos online now of Terminal 1 abandoned in Heathrow. This is Abu Dhabi? No, Heathrow. Oh, Heathrow. It just looks like a lot of unused space. That looks... Spooky. Like, obviously, Heathrow being in the location that it is, the f number of flights they have a day, surely they would invest in using that space a lot more. Yeah, build another runway. So That's what go. they really need to do. They need to build a new yeah, runway. they do. I think they're at, like, maximum capacity. Yeah. Like, surprised. that runway can't fit anything else. Yeah. But yeah, interesting. It kind of looks a bit spooky, though. It looks like, you know, one of those, like, abandoned hospitals or, like, abandoned sanatoriums exactly in the US. Exactly right. And we've got that Emirates still waiting at the end of runway 34 for its departure. And uh, is that a Bonzer I'm seeing? Would you look at that? Taking full length is a Bonza 737 Max on a runway 34. Look at the lights on that. Yeah, that one's off to Toowoomba. EK's lining up now. And Paul says, signing off. Guys, great job, but I'll carry on lurking. It's been awesome being with you all. Smash the like button and see you soon. Thanks, Paul. Cheers, mate. Joining the Lurkers Lounge. Joining in the Lurkers Lounge, That's Paul. That's it. Grab a coffee. Thank it's you. free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> coffee on the house. Free refills. <laughs> free refills. One of the luxuries of the Lurkers Lounge. Yeah. One of the extremely well-off luxuries of the Lurkers Lounge. Coffee, biscuits. Only downside is you have to hear Sam and I talking <laughs> about Abu Dhabi. Look how eerie it looks. It genuinely looks like a sanatorium. It looks so eerie. And Emirates is just awaiting its takeoff clearance as there's a runway 27 arrival. Here we go, I think it's about to spool up. Alrighty, this is EK409 now rolling runway 34, guys. That is a catch. Indeed, it is a catch. That was awesome. Members put in the purple thumbs up for the Bonza. Lined up on the end of runway 34. Going off to Toowoomba, which Toowoomba, is a... Yeah. Small little city in, or could I can't even say city, I'd say more a town in Queensland. About two hours out of Brisbane. So they've still even got the gates there for Terminal 1, but they don't use them. It just seems really yeah, counterproductive. Just very strange in my opinion. Because you're right, it's, it's very limited. Like Heathrow can't expand much. Ah, Burke. 
You are correct. I was just reading this online. So Burke says, G'day, first time viewer. Regarding Terminal 1 Heathrow, it's not abandoned. Baggage system remains fully operational and support other terminals and other spaces is used for admin. Yes, I did read that here. So, um, as stated, the main functionality of Terminal 1, however, is to house the baggage system for Terminal 2. I, that just seems like, like such a odd yeah. kind of system. <laughs> like Terminal 2's baggage system is in Terminal 1. Yeah. And it, it kind of, it's like the middleman. It feeds into Terminal yeah. 1 then feeds back out I to Terminal 2. I think they have two. future plans to eventually get rid of it and then just expand the Queen's Terminal, which is Terminal 2. Just makes a bigger yep. expansion of it. And then just completely like, you know, Heathrow has Terminal 2, 3, 4, and 5. Yeah. Terminal 1, that's, that's just bad mojo. What's that private terminal that they have? Do they terminal have? 4, isn't it? Oh, no, that's not that's not private. I don't know. I don't, it's on the same side as four, though. Yeah. But um, yeah, Ter and they use they use Terminal One for uh, emergency teams such as the London Fire Brigade, ambulance, and the Met Police. Geezer. <laughs> Geezer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much, Burke, for that information. It's always interesting reading up about some of these things. Hmm. It always makes me think, if I was running the airport, what I would do differently. Yeah. Because, like, like you said, I'd be using that space. Turn it into an overnight hotel. <laughs> and there we go. Bonza has just began its departure roll. There we go. We've got the purple thumbs up in the chat there from TriStar Darren, Big Wendy and Andy. Up. Getting into the Bonza spirit. So we're starting to get the first hints of daylight. Indeed. It's coming out slowly. Very, very slowly. As we inch towards a quarter to 7 a.m. So sunrise is, what, like about 7.20 these days. Stark contrast to what we were doing in December when, <laughs> when it would be broad daylight when we started at 6 a.m. And on screen there is uh, QF406. Heading up to Sydney. And Kirsten Mills, a member for 11 months of the Boeing 777 class member, says, Hello, I say turn Terminal 1 into an aviation museum. Sounds good to me. You know, it's surprising that they haven't, and, they've, and they haven't used that as another source of revenue, because I know how much Heathrow loves to just make revenue wherever possible. Yeah, they've increased the business class tax as well. In the UK. Have they? Yeah. Really? Uh, so the tax you pay on a business class ticket compared to economy has just like increased a lot. Everybody loves to fly out of Heathrow. There goes another milk run up to Sydney. Uh, looks like we've got Air Asia that's pushed back as well. So, about 40 minutes out is uh, Cathay Flight 135. That's a A350-900. We're going to see that shortly arrive in from Hong Kong. Ripper stuff. And that flight is constantly changing uh, the type of aircraft running it. Yeah. One week is an A350-900. Next week is a 777. Yep. Then the A350000 tries to take over again. But I think at the moment it's got the A350 Reign of Terror. And then uh, not too far behind it is uh, Qantas Flight 80 arriving in from Tokyo Narita. It's an A330-300. 
the heavy bonanza, Sam. It Indeed. begins. But on the in the meantime, let's uh, have a look at this A321 Neo on screen arriving in from Dempasar. This is uh, JQ36. Enjoy this one, guys, in the new livery. I swear, the the landing lights on the front of the plane of the A321s, it is so bright. There's the Erasure guys, that's pushed back. Heading off to Kuala Lumpur. Is that usually leave at this hour? Yeah. About oh. oh, actually it's leaving quite late. 30 minutes or so. Usually one of the first things out. Falling asleep in the chair there, Sammy. Yeah, um... You need a wreck. Red Bull. And then I've got to work after this as well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll be sleeping at work. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure you will be. Well, last week after the stream, uh, <laughs> Sam called me at, what, 2, 3 p.m.? Saying, dude, I'm nodding off. <laughs> Just <laughs> See, it is, it is quite draining, because after working all week, then we're getting up at the crack of dawn, or before, well before the crack of dawn. Yeah, I already get up at like 5 a.m. every morning to go to work, and I don't get home till 7 p.m. Oof, and then on like the one day off that comes along, I'm like, oh yes, time to sleep. No, 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 time to stream. <laughs> oh, time to get out there and stream. The Emirates A380 won't film itself. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. And then we're talking about a double daily in Nightstream, Sam. We'll give it a shot, mate. We'll give it a shot. He's just <laughs> eyes shut in the chair, just like passing out. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try. Did you bring the Red Bull? I already had it. You already had it? Yeah. Wowie, we're in trouble. One thing I will show you guys, the sunrise is looking absolutely stunning over there. It is looking as orange as can be. Look at that. Should get some stunning shots this morning. Cannot wait. <laughs> I don't know about just a coffee, Sydney. I think he's going to need more than just Definitely that. Definitely going to need some... We're going to need to do a coffee run soon, mate. The old vanilla latte. We need to do a coffee run. Runway inspection. Would you look at that? That's all right, Sam. I didn't catch you picking your nose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good one, mate. Yeah, keep going, Giza. <laughs> huh? Keep going, my man. Keep going. Why don't we take this to Birmingham, eh? Hey, Giza. Giza. Look at that purpleness in the sky there. Yep. Looks good. Looks really good. But it's going to look even better in yeah, about 20 minutes. Yeah. And Indeed. let's see where this Air Asia goes. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see where this Air Asia goes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's just Yikes. forget. That's, that's, let's forget that even exists. Yeah. Eh? Let's just that, let's just turn the camera that around. didn't even come here today. Yeah, <laughs> no, the Air Asia doesn't come, doesn't come on Saturdays. No. May as well not come on Saturdays. Yeah. Lands at like 3 a.m., takes off at 6 and oh, goes to 2.7. Basically non-existent. Let's continue the topic of the day, guys, talking about airports. Uh-huh. I reckon maybe every stream we talk about a different topic. I think that'd be a good idea. Like we can put a stream, poll up as well. Yeah, like one what, stream we talk topic? about. Like we'll, we'll ask what you guys think. One stream we can talk about one topic. It can be airports. It can be terminals. It can be um, a specific airline, a specific company. 
just one specific topic so we don't go off the chart and talk about everything. But that's uh, on screen JQ472 up to Newcastle. Barreling down runway 34. G'day everybody, CRF1000. Good morning. Louise, good morning from Brisbane. Good morning, Peter. M. James. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Hope you're enjoying the stream. It's got that orange glow about it, the sun over there. Looks pretty good. It's going to be real good. In 20 minutes time, we're going to have the most golden light. Yeah. So, yeah. Here's another thing about the topic. Hong Kong Airport. That was nothing. Uh, what do you mean that was nothing? Uh, like, there was nothing there. It's a oh, man-made island. Right, right. You're talking about... They, m they made that island. Yeah, they did. Go back pre-1997 and, and obviously a little bit before that because it took time to build, but, you know, that was just water. That was ocean, which I think is just crazy to think. It's crazy to think that they built an island, they built the land, they've built this whole airport and they've continued to build it over the years and you know they've added the third runway now and things like that well they've done the same thing in Japan yeah with but uh, with Osaka Osaka's and, uh, sinking I've heard and Okinawa as well I think that's built in the water yeah it's a man-made island but Hong Kong as well they've just added that third runway yeah they've added the third runway I mean oh how good's that it, it's pretty cool Prime views at T4 this morning. Prime views. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, change the topic. Yeah, change the topic. <laughs> change, yeah. change the topic. <laughs> well, you got to admit, it's pretty crazy though. They build it from nothing, mate. They build it from absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's, it's it's pretty unreal. But hey, uh, it's a great solution as well because obviously Hong Kong... Yeah, no land space. Yeah, it's, it's limited. It's a small area. Yeah. And Hong Kong Airport is just massive. Like, it really does live up to the name and the reputation. Yeah. <laughs> it's Sydney trying to make out that we're fat. <laughs> trying to say I'm fat <laughs> I have gained a few pounds <laughs> but hey oh, it's getting a bit more lighter we're going to have to turn the night graphics off soon very soon the new night graphics look at that double trouble in the jet stars but anyway speaking of food just thinking about breakfast yeah now we've got some options what are the options sushi Sushi. Where are you gonna get sushi? Well, from? terminal. Terminal four oh, has so a sushi stand. So you're gonna go stand. down there, are you? Maybe. We'll see. Look, well. the sushi stand opens at eight a.m. and don't ask how I know that, but I do. You do. Eight a.m. Right. That's when they start selling the uh, delicious. I'm fresh fine with that, rolls. mate. As long as you're going to get it, I'm not walking down there. <laughs> I can tell you right now. See, since. Uh, Sydney has generously pointed out that we're getting a bit tubby. We need to start a stop. We need to stop eating the McDonald's. <laughs> stop with that. We need to go straight for the sushi. Straight for the sushi. Straight for it. Six fifty in the morning. Six fifty. Alrighty, guys. We'll pop on the uh, full cam here. That jet stars are getting ready to go. Tow bar has been pulled off. Oh wait, is that a jet star van? I didn't know they had that. That's pretty sweet actually.
Peter is saying Big Mac and hash browns. Honestly, there's no better way to start the day. I like the sound of that one. Or a triple cheeseburger. I could go triple cheeseburger, mate, at any hour it, of the day. See, the triple cheeseburger is perfect. the perfect ratio of it's meat perfect. to bun. You know what I mean? And meat to bun and cheese. And cheese. It's just like, it's perfect. Because you get a cheeseburger and they're too small. Do you know what I mean? That's it. Like, the, che the cheeseburger, it's too bready. You have to take, like, one of the buns off and then... I don't know, you, you just kind of... It, it loses that appeal. But the, the triple cheeseburger, perfect. Oh, and especially, have you had the triple cheeseburger when they just make it in the morning? Like, you ask for it fresh? Yeah. And it's dripping yeah. with grease? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it is so good. It is grouse. I remember once when I was... When I used to work at the airport... It was one morning I got it, and it must have been like freshly made. That then, then and there, I remember just biting into it, and it was so juicy. It was like a massive succulent burger. <laughs> succulent burger. And look at this. We're back onto the topic of food, Sam. But we're linking this back because where do we get the food from? The terminal. And where is that? Airports. You know, it, it is an unfortunate name, though, when you think about it. What is? Terminal. Why? It's just a, I don't know. Cool. T to me, it's an unfortunate kind of name. Like, the last place I'd want to eat at the terminal is like, I don't know, the terminal snack bar. Like, you know what I mean? That's like, why I go in the lounge. <laughs> <laughs> if it's the terminal lounge. I don't know. Like, when, to me... Whenever there's lounge. Uh, <laughs> the lounge. More than happy to go in that one. It just sounds like the last place you're going to be. Like, the last place you're ever going to be in your life is the terminal snack bar. Like, I don't know. Like, to me, it's always just sounded unfortunate. Yeah, it does sound unfortunate. But, you know, the terminal lounge, that's a good way to go. Yeah. <laughs> Two Negronis in. Got double trouble there on the Jetstar. So I was down the alleyway, heading out. Down the alleyway. And Josh asking if we're sponsored by Tommy Hilfiger. No, but if anyone from Tommy Hilfiger is watching, send us an email. <laughs> send through the sponsorship for him. That's it. I can't see why they wouldn't want to sponsor Melbourne Airport. <laughs> I think it's almost time we turn on the day cam. I think you might be right. Oh, finally, we can actually see this special livery of the Garuda. There she is. Alrighty, guys. Day cam switches on. Three, two, two one. one. Bang. And it's swapped. The, the sun moon has, has risen. <laughs> yeah, the moon is set. The <laughs> moon is set. The sun has risen. The AV orange glow is out. <laughs> the AV orange... They should name this color AV. <laughs> yeah, AV orange. We got Jetstar orange and AV orange. Well, it's about to match the sunrise that we're only 10 minutes away from seeing. Look at this. Jetstar's hub. Oh, he's in a rush, that one. <laughs> he's out of here. <laughs> crap, 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 I was supposed to leave to Bali last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, we're 14 hours late. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Whoa. Two 321s there. Oh, awesome stuff. Where's there more food than at a terminal? That is a great point. And where's there more variety than at the terminal? That as well. Yeah. And we've got a Jetstar A321 departure here on a runway 34, taking taxiway Juliet. Oops. Uh, got to get the camera under control. It is at Jetstar Power Hour with three departures in a row. And all different types as well. We've got a 321 that just left. There's an A320... Holding short of Taxiway Juliet and going up to Kilo is going to be the A321 Neo. 
Pick your favorite. The AV Orange. Is it waking you up, Sam? Trying. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> oh, I feel like death. <laughs> yeah, me too. I went to bed at like 2.30. Yeah. I it was a big mistake. Just, I just didn't even sleep well. Nah, because we're just too excited to get out and stream. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. I wanted to see that Emirates so bad, I couldn't sleep. Like, not oh. last night, but the night before, I was up till like, really late editing. <laughs> That's that was me last night. Yeah, and then I woke up at four a.m. on uh, yesterday morning and just literally did not stop till I got home till like nine p.m. Have you noticed though, Sam? When you're editing, time seems to just vanish. Like y you put something together and you're like, "All right, like I'm gonna finish this. It's gonna take maybe forty minutes." Then you look at the the clock and it's been three hours. Yeah, I know. But it doesn't feel like three hours. And then the problem is. If you're editing late at night and you have an early start, you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to finish by midnight, and then all of a sudden it's 3 a.m. Yeah, exactly. Like, to put it into perspective, right, this morning I was so tired... I didn't register what my alarm was when I woke up. <laughs> that was me. Like, I, 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 all I heard was just ruckus. I'm like, what is that? And then, almost like simultaneously with my alarm, you called me. Yeah. So then well, my phone I had was... my alarm set for 4am, and oh. for the first half hour, it was just like, what is this thing that I'm hearing? <laughs> Yeah, it was almost like it incorporated into my dreams. Yeah, yeah. Like, my body was so... Not ready. It <laughs> didn't want to wake up. Great view here of the uh, three twenty one Neo pushback. And Josh saying, "Wait till you have five kid boys, <laughs> then oh. you'll no sleep deprivation." Ooh. Uh, Definitely do not want that. Yeah, that that already... I feel tired just thinking about that, to be honest. I think even one kid is, uh, is sleep deprivation. As one thing I love about T4, the close-ups of the Jetstars. And Josh, glad to hear, mate. Cheers for that. Glad that we can make your morning run just a little bit faster. I think Sam's morning's going to go fast as well because he is fast asleep. He's nodding off in that chair. It'd be a real shame if I pointed that camera at you. It'd be a real shame.
a lot of the arrivals are going to runway 27, which is really unfortunate. It's just another one of those mornings. And we're going to have so many more of those as we start to approach winter and the runway 16 season draws to a close. But nevertheless, we should still get the majority of the heavies coming to runway 34. Should. Don't quote me on it though. <laughs> and Kirsten, don't worry, it gets far more devious. Far more. And we've got another Jetstar push back here as well. There we go, the A321neo is making its move. Whilst my co-host takes a little nap, we're going to have a little update of where the next heavies are. So we've got Cathay Pacific in about 15 minutes heading in from Hong Kong, the A350-900. Following closely behind that, by 10 minutes, is going to be a QF80 from a Tokyo Narita. It's going to be an A330. The Thai A350 from Bangkok is not far behind that, and the Jetstar 787 from Singapore. Based on the uh, position of that Jetstar 787, it's guaranteed to be runway 34. It's coming in very, very low over the state, indicating a 34 arrival. So quite a few heavies coming in over the course of the next 30 minutes. And we have the special Qantas 787 about 50 minutes away. This is going to be the 100 livery VHZNJ. Quite a few great catches here this morning. The action seems to be pretty consistent. And we're going to be having some departure soon as well. The Garuda special livery the A330 should be heading off to Indonesia real soon. And we're also going to have the Japan 787. Actually, the Garuda should be going now at 7 a.m. So any minute now, that uh, Garuda 330 is going to push back and embark on its journey to Denpasar, Bali's party capital. And Sierra Bravo TV has been a member for two months. Absolutely amazing, mate. Cheers for the support. Glad that you're enjoying the show and the streams that Sam and I are putting on. Good day, Oscar. Cheers for tuning in, mate. No, no, unfortunately not. Although that would be really, really helpful. Oh, looks like in the back there we have the Kwana 717. Just slowing down on runway 27 after its arrival. One of the places I really do want to stream from is Jellybrand Hill. So with the help of Sam, I'm sure that we can pull it off. Particularly in winter when Runway 27 is going to be <laughs> far more active than it is uh, currently. I remember the streams that Sam and I were doing a couple of years back. It, Runway 27 was always stealing all the traffic. 
We also have some ideas for multicam action as well. So we've been doing quite a bit of brainstorming and what we're going to do, how we're going to improve things. Sam and I, we are dedicated and driven into creating the best shows possible. We're going to be doing multicam action. We're going to be updating some of the uh, the stickers and all that, like to more fit with the graphics. So we've got a lot of things sort of coming up. But the multicam thing should be fantastic. So I'm going to be going to South America, and Sam's going to be going to Europe in about three, four weeks. So when we're both back from our trips, uh, we're going to be really dedicated into improving the quality even more, adding new things, even looking at animations and such. It's all happening here. But with the, <laughs> the limited time that we have, we do want to get out here and just enjoy the... Uh, the element of streaming and enjoy the uh, plane spotting in general. <laughs> and we enjoy it so much that we sacrifice sleep for it. And a lot of sleep. On runway 34 we have a Jetstar 320 departure. This is Jetstar 502, off to Sydney, doing a milk run. Still waiting on that Garuda to push back there. That's definitely going to be a highlight of the morning, provided that it goes to runway 34. There is a good chance it's going to go to 27. Try start Darren in the chat. Oh, someone's Tell awake. Me. Oh, mate, I'm so wrecked. Oh. We need coffees, Matt. We need coffees. All right. Do you want to do a coffee run? It I might think wake we you need up. to do a coffee run, so I'm going to pass out even more, man. <laughs> David O'Keefe. Oh, did you look at that? Uh, I just got a notification that the Pointer Embraer E290 will be departing Melbourne at oh, 8.30. Perfect. No doubt off runway 27 because it's the best runway ever. Oh, as always. Can't wait. That Garuda should be departing shortly, I think, as well. Just waiting for it. Patiently waiting. So far, it's about 10 minutes late. Alrighty, guys. It's a coffee run. It's coffee run time. Coffee what are we run. ordering, mate? Vanilla latte. Vanilla latte. Always a vanilla latte. I think I'll be doing the same. Let's check if it's open first. If possible, be really, really complicated. Like, just be, yeah. just be real vanilla, menacing. Vanilla latte with 0.3 grams of uh, <laughs> cinnamon sugar with Mad 0.6 of Madagascan vanilla, natural... Sugar from the Himalayas only. Himalayan sugar. <laughs> Some crap like that. That's it. And then get uh, very offended when they uh, when they can't fulfill your order. Exactly. That's uh, velocity eight double one up to Sydney. That's now entering three four. But just go down there. Hello. Yeah, I would like it. I'll go do it. Madagascan vanilla latte, please. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna go get some coffees for us. I'll be back. Matt's gonna continue to, to run the show. Alrighty. So it won't be long. Get some coffees. Yes. Yeah, you desperately need it, mate. Desperately. All right. I'm going to have that Virgin 737 departing of 3-4. <laughs> I'm going to try and manage things by myself here, running it solo. So do bear with me. And here we go. Operating another milk run.
there we go, we can start seeing the pink skies really coming into effect now. As we get closer and closer to sunrise. Looks like the Singapore A350 is on its way over, hopefully, to runway 34. It's just pushed back. It's going to be one of the first heavies of the stream. You can see on the right-hand side, just above the Garuda, the tip of the Singapore A350 tail is visible. I don't know. If we say it enough, maybe it'll come to 3-4, materialize it, manifest it, whatever you want to call it. Because it'd be great to catch this one. All right, here's the question for our viewers: Coffee preference? What do you choose? So, personally, I'll go for either a long black if I'm trying to stay awake, or I'll also go for a vanilla latte if it's like, you know, I want to. It's, it's, it's more of a fun choice. I don't know. It's more, it's more like a dessert coffee. It's got a little bit of, uh, a little bit of sweetness to it. And gives you that little boost you need. So what is your choice? In fact, I want to put up a poll about that. I'm always curious. Like, Apparently you can tell a lot about a person based on their coffee choice. Taxing in now to run... Oh, to, to runway. Jeez. Maybe I do need a coffee. Taxing in now to Terminal 4. We have the Flying with Pride A320. Look at that rainbow star. With any luck, that 320 is going to take off on uh, runway 34 for us. There's always a chance. Always. And yes, Sierra Bravo TV, it is indeed a Saturday morning for us. Time travel at its finest. And the most realistic version, I guess you could say, as well. But yeah, we're enjoying a beautiful Saturday morning. Not a cloud in the sky. A little bit chilly. We've got the foot heater going. You can clearly tell that winter is beginning to take effect beginning like I do know that it is uh, autumn here or fall but we're getting uh, we're getting some cooler days now sweet and white all I need in a coffee good to hear TriStar Darren yeah you know what I do love a uh, just a sweet latte Double Double Americano Kirsten I couldn't agree more for function and Peter James <laughs> just black well, you know what they say, Peter? Once you go black, you don't go back. Ooh, Andy, that is a great idea. Putting some honey in. Actually, I, I, <laughs> I was having a black coffee yesterday evening uh, to sort of stay functional while trying to put a video together. And I added a bit of vanilla, and it was a great combination. A little bit of vanilla syrup with the uh, black coffee. Oh, it looks like the uh, Virgin on the left-hand side of the screen is a 700. One of the rarer types. And Kevin D celebrating eight months of AV membership. Good day, mate. Thanks for tuning in. And Kevin says, good evening, Sam, Matt. Great to see you guys back on live streaming again. It's been a while since I last managed to catch up. Cheers, mate. We're going to be definitely uh, far more consistent with the live streams. Sam and I have some really big plans with it. Um, and we both are planning to be staying in Melbourne for a little bit after the next trips. So we've got plenty of time to be focusing on doing some live streams and really just enjoying the atmosphere of plane spotting and trying to create the best shows we possibly can. We've always wanted to do this. We've always, for, for two years now, we've, we've wanted to show off our home airport. 
but also really at the end of the day create the best and most high quality live stream we can and finally it's sort of coming into vision i know that sam was particularly busy for the last year so he just never had time to put things together but now he's finally started getting things into gear he's, he's found the graphic designer who's put together the uh the graphics that you're seeing on screen here Oh, sweet. The wind has gone east-north-east. It certainly has. The wind has completely switched around here. To 20 degrees. That is tremendous stuff. Hopefully that starts encouraging them to use Runway 34 more than 27. But if I know Melbourne Airport, and I think I do, <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be a bloodbath. <laughs> They're just gonna keep using two seven tailwind. Pff, that's fine. Safety hazard. Pff, it's two seven. In two seven we trust. Ah, speaking of two seven, Cathay Pacific's A three fifty just came in. That's um, that's cool and fun. Oh, we love that. So so sweet. Thanks, Cathay. So the first heavy of the little bonanza <laughs> has uh, decided to not be on camera. Cathay Pacific, they're a little bit camera shy, but that's okay. We'll forgive them. Departing off runway 34, we have the Virgin Australia 737-700 off to Newcastle. There we go, the little, little nugget. <laughs> the little Virgin nugget. And yep, Darren, I am indeed. I'm going to be uh, doing some filming for myself in South America, covering one of the last continents where plane splitting is legal that I haven't done before. I'm actually looking really forward to it. We've added some new destinations on there as well, like Mexico City. Uh, we've locked it all in finally. It's taken a little bit of time, but I really can't wait. So for those who are just tuning in, I'm Matt from HT Melbourne Aviation. I know it's kind of weird. Uh, Sam, who runs aviation videography, has just gone for a coffee run. He's going to be getting us back some vanilla lattes. And uh, yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to it. So South America is going to be fantastic. We've added Mexico City onto it. Uh, we should be doing Sao Paulo, Bogota, Bogota, Bogota. I don't know why I say it like that. I always have uh, Santiago. Uh, and we're also going to be doing Panama City as well. So I'm really looking forward to doing some new airports, getting some new traffic. And the main objective of this trip is going to be to catch the 727s. So I'm going to be out of action for a couple of weeks. Sam, actually, ironically, is going to be going to Europe uh, during the time that I'm in South America. So streams are going to be sort of put on hold for about two weeks. But when we're back, we're going to be focusing as much as we can, trying to do two streams a week, maybe even three if we're really feeling it. Um, and it depends on what you guys want as well. If you guys are enjoying the show, enjoying what we're doing, uh, we will try and do as much of it as we can. But in the meantime, we're going to be enjoying the action here this morning at Melbourne Airport. And hopefully this Garuda that I'm still waiting for. Uh, in fact, I haven't even got this shot. I have never seen this thing take off on runway 34. So I'm excited to see it hopefully taking off in front of us. So far, in typical style, it's running about 20 minutes late. That's a heavy. Ah. Off runway 27, we have SQ247. Off to Singapore. Double A350 action on the wrong runway. We love to see it. We love to see it, Sam. Double A through 50 action on 2-7. Happy days. Isn't that just tremendous? And Garuda has popped up on radar. 
as GA719 is about to push back from Terminal 2. And the coffees are here. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's have a look, guys. We've got the coffees here now. It's been a long time <laughs> coming. The sun's glowing. The coffees sun is are glowing. out. It, it is the holy halo. It is. Quite literally. Look at that. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Much needed. They made that very sweet. They did. Try Star Darren, you'd love this, mate. <laughs> mm. So, regrettably, Cathay has used 2.7. The Singapore takeoff went 2.7. I two saw seven. that. I saw yeah, that. Asia's used 2.7. It's one of those days. It's one of those annoying days. Oh, and it's a, it's a tailwind on 2.7 as well. Are they going to be doing runway works tonight? I don't know. What time would they if they did? 11. So they would wait for the Turkish and the Emirates. The and then the thing is, Turkish could easily go 2 7. So if it's delayed, it won't matter. It'll go 2 yeah, 7. That's it. Oh, it's all good. And I've heard that CASA have been doing inspections on it. On what? On Turkish. Why? They're not trusting uh, Turkish registered planes at the moment. This is what I've heard on the grapevine. So the uh, 747, you know that Turkish one that came in, the ACT, that we yeah. delayed last week's stream for? Yeah. Apparently, the plane came in with dodgy tires. Oh my god. So now CASA has been... That's why it's been going out late all the time. Because they've been doing inspections. Oh, really? That's And I heard that's the reason for the constant 45-minute delays. Crazy. Personally, I think it's it's just rude. Yeah. It's Damn. like, because I like when it all goes at once. Uh, Tobias, we should be streaming until 11 a.m. local time, just to let you know. Coffee's well needed. Oh, definitely. Definitely needed. Look at the sun. It's glowing through there. Oh, there we go. Garuda is on pushback. Wonderful. If this doesn't go 3-4... So we should have a uh, Qantas 330 as well, not too far out. Oh, it actually used 3-4. Push him back there. The sunrise hasn't hit the airport just yet. Still covered in the shadows of the terminal. And uh, let's move over to runway 34 to catch this Qantas A330. Awesome, man. Thank you, Tobias. Tobias says, love your streams. Thanks, mate. Glad to have you here and tuning in. Thank you very much for the support. Look at that glow. It's going to be a stunning shot. So this should be QF80 from Tokyo Narita. Now arriving in on 4 Rame 34. So this should be a good one here. And Alberto with a 20 US dollar tip says good morning. Thanks, Alberto says, good morning, guys. Looks like a good day for spotting. Watching from UFO and Skinwalker Country, Utah, USA. Skinwalker Country. <laughs> Have a great day and thank you for your stream. Thanks, Alberto. Can't go wrong with a bit of Utah, hey. Much appreciated, mate, and stay safe out there. Definitely. Thank you for the uh, awesome support, mate. We'll dedicate this arrival here to you. 
So sit back, relax and enjoy. Thanks so much, Alberto. Really do appreciate that, mate. Donations go a long way in helping us so we can get back over to the US and do some more streams in the future. How about that, Matt? There's uh, no way I can say no to that. Definitely not. But really do appreciate it, mate. All the, uh, all the support goes straight back into the channel. We have our eyes on a new soundboard. Look at that... Gorgeous livery. It's so detailed. Look at the feathers. Yeah. So much detail. Actually, Sam, have you actually looked up the uh, the urban legend of skinwalkers? No, I haven't. It, it's some crazy stuff. Is it? Yeah, apparently they're like these creatures that essentially can change their form and they try and imitate animals to like lure you in. And then they do whatever they like I, I suppose they they're supposed to consume you but like they will like it, it mostly happens in like country sort of places like rural areas right and they will like take care of your your pet they'll get rid of it and they'll try and imitate your pet to get into your house who are they what are these things they're like these it's like an urban legend like it oh. but they're uh, supposed to be just creatures that may or may not exist. Sounds like an everyday mat. Everyday mat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that there, mate. But yeah, there's all these videos and stuff that I've seen recently where they're like, people are catching their animals doing things that they're not really supposed to be. Like someone caught their dog like, walking around on two legs when they thought that it wasn't being oh. watched and the second the door opened of them coming home, like it was caught on their, their nanny cam. Yeah. Right, their security camera system in the house, walking yeah. on two legs in the kitchen. Then they opened the door and it went straight back onto four legs. That's very strange. Alrighty, guys, just a quick update. QF96, the 787, about half an hour out. Uh, behind that, about an hour away, is United 98 from LAX as well. We've got JQ8 currently about five minutes out, and Thai Airways operating as TG465 from Bangkok to 35900, about 20 minutes out as well. So stick around, guys. We've still got some some more aircraft to come. Air India's on the way. Singapore Airlines is still on the way, guys. Vietnam, Shanghai, Xiamen, China Southern, Malaysian. Malaysian's bringing the 35900 as well. Oh, wow which is going to be good on the stream. I think it's the first time I've seen the uh, 350 900 on the stream, guys. Yeah, last week I think it was a 330. Yeah. Q of 80 taxing into Terminal 2. There it is. It's going to park right next to Japan Airlines, I think. One in, one out. One in and one out for Narita. Narita. I swear this Qantas 330 changes constantly, like what destination in Tokyo it flies out of. Yeah, I know. One minute's Haneda, the next minute's Narita. I wonder why. I don't know. Haneda seems like the way better choice. Yeah. For like, position-wise, it's so much closer to the city. Like, Narita is so out the way. Yeah. Gruder is now beginning to make its uh, final decision, you could say. Where's it going to go? What's it going to do? Come on. Come over to 
It's probably the highlight of my morning. If I get this on 3-4, cause I never get a shot at this. It always goes 2-7. And then arrives before the sun rises. On 2-7. <laughs> nightmare, mate. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. See, that's why I want a curfew like Sydney. Because at least you don't miss anything. Like, you know, oh, yeah, everything's after 6. No. Nah. None of this 5 a.m. Nah. stuff. Uh, that sucks. That's a real shame. See, interesting, because I always thought it was more expensive. Oh. That, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, Haneda is more expensive. Yeah, it would be. Because it's, it's more slot controlled. Yeah, 100%. That's right in the city area as well. Mm. And no A380s allowed. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. They're not allowed to fly there. Well, there you go. You learn something new every day. There we go. Garuda heading over to runway 27. This is just nice. Not our morning so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We need to get this multi-camera thing up and running. Yeah, I know. We need to figure out a way to do 2.7 because it's just I not just see a lot of problems with it. <laughs> I see a lot of problems with 2.7. I just see seven. constant, no, it's not connecting. <laughs> Imagine walking all the way up Jelly Brand Hill oh. with the camera, with all the gear, and it doesn't work. And you're just standing there like, yeah, this is cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is great. Nice. Nice. <laughs> And like you promote it, like oh yeah, we're doing we're doing multicam, multicam. Like, tune in for the multicam stream. Hey guys, we're just doing a T4 stream today. Yeah, <laughs> can just see recipe for disaster. <laughs> it's d <laughs> recipe for disaster. <laughs> uh, uh, pump everyone up. That would be us, though. That would be our luck. Like it works every single time. We test it three or four times. We specifically come out here and test it, yeah? Yeah. And we're like, all right, everyone's going to love this. Like, guys, tune in. Like, multicam, multicam. And it would. It would just malfunction. Mm -hmm. It'd be like your uh, router issues. Ooh, that vanilla latte is very sweet. <laughs> it's a little bit too sweet. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It's sickening. But it's caffeine. It's caffeine. It's what I need. Keep me awake. Give me the caffeine. Give me the Jetstar 7-8. Jetstar Flight 8 coming in from Singapore. About to land here on runway 34. So the sun has risen. We're here at Melbourne. If you're just tuning in at the moment, uh, my name's Sam from Aviation Videography. This is Matt. Good day, guys. From HT Melbourne Aviation, we're out here at Melbourne Airport on the 16th of March, 2024. Current time is 7.37 a.m. Alrighty, so we've been out here since 6. We've seen a couple heavies. Unfortunately, a couple have also gone to runway 27, which hasn't been the best. But uh, it is what it is. We're just going to adjust the settings for the selfie cam. There you are. You can probably see me a lot. There we are. That's good. Perfect. You can see me a lot better now. Um... Unfortunately, we've had a couple heavies go 2-7, but, you know, it's the luck of the draw. It is what it is. We're not going to pack up the stream because of it. We are going to be ending the stream around 11am, so stick yep. around. We do still have a lot of heavies due in. We've got United, 777s, 7-8, Qantas 380, Qantas 787, all from LAX. So don't go anywhere, guys. Stick and around. The, uh, the power of numbers, right? I mean, exactly. all of them can't go 2-7. Exactly. Now, we are planning a trip... On the first week of May. Is that correct, Matt? I think so. Would I be correct in saying that? It's going to be the, uh, the first weekend of May. That, that is correct, yeah? <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I look forward to that one. Alrighty, this is JQ8. Arriving in from Singers.
How good was that? The Pretty light good. on that's stunning. Just have a look on flight radar now. What the next one is. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. We're just uh, going to adjust the laptop. Is this yours? This. This one's mine. Yeah. So it's. Hang on. Let's. I want to get this on screen. Oh, I mean, I can't judge you. I, ha I had pizza. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa what What's is going happening there? there? There we go. There we go. He's got stir fry out for breakfast at 7:45 a.m. Stir fry noodles with what is it, beef? Yep. Yeah, it looks very good. Looks good, mm. I must say. Looks pretty decent. This is a great breakfast, nutritional. You know, you want to know what I had for breakfast at 4:30 this morning? Uh, triple cheeseburger. No, cold prawn pizza. Cold prawn. Pizza. I had a pizza. I had it in the fridge, and it was. The seafood pizza with prawns and like clams and stuff. <laughs> just whacked it out of the fridge and <laughs> just started eating it cold. Can't go wrong though, it was actually pretty good. I mean, at 4.30, the last thing you want to do is warm a pizza up. Yeah, actually I wouldn't mind like a HSP kebab or something at that hour like mm. that. Or Garlic sauce. Yeah. Wakes you up. Can't go wrong with that. I think a kebab at any time of the day just works. See, yeah. CRF agrees. I think it's normal. Like I'd have that in Asia. I remember when we were in Singapore, when we stayed at the hotel, I'd always have a a breakfast of um, of that. And uh, Melbourne flights a member for 16 months. Thanks very much, mate. Well, the thing was, like they had all sorts of things. They had curries and everything, and people would eat it. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like it's just. That's how it goes there, I, th I guess. I'm in disbelief that it's so particular in some places where it's like you can only have this for breakfast. Yeah, that's just how it is there. And I'm, there's nothing wrong with that, I'm all for it. Don't get me wrong. Here's JAL. They're getting ready to Hayden head says off. the heavy bonanza, Sam. I did see that. The heavy bonanza is upon us. You can't miss it. So Sam, are you excited for the heavy bonanza? You've asked me that already, mate. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, okay. What's your favourite part of the heavy bonanza? Emirates 380 or Qantas 380? Actually, the Qantas 380 that we're going to get today is in the old livery, which I'm looking forward to. That's going to be really cool. Mm. Going to be a highlight for sure of the heavy bonanza. I just want to hear you say it. I just want to hear you say heavy bonanza. You're not going to get it out of me, mate. Oh, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will, Sam. That was the most pointless selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. We'll come back. 
<laughs> Why? Because. We can. We're waiting for Japan Airlines to start moving, see where it's going to go. It's going to be 3 4. Oh, we've lost Ty. Really? Yeah. Ty's gone 2 7. Yeah, New Zealand's gone 2 7. Oh, mate, if United goes 2 7. Nah, 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 surely not. Don't they still have that company policy where it's got to be the longest runway? Oh, do they have that? They had that. I don't know if they still do. Ah, I didn't know that. Like they, they have to use the longest active runway. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Alright, Jal's on the move now. Jal is on the go. This should go 2-7, yeah. I mean 3-4. Jal should, yeah. And Tobias asks, do we miss the Quanta 747? Uh, yes. Very much so. Would have made a great addition to the heavy bonanza. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, you don't <laughs> you don't stop, do you? <laughs> just no context. Just no context. Just puts it out there. Look at the glow on Jal. She's looking good. What's well, about to go? Look, that now there. You know what that is? That's a seven eight seven bonanza. Look at that. There's four of them yeah. in oh, one mate. area. All right. Wow, we apparently the wind is east, Sam, and they're still using two seven. The rules don't apply for two seven. If it was three four, there'd be a and there was a tailwind, that'd be straight to one six without yeah, a doubt. But runway two seven, no problems. Massive tailwind, all good. Let's get them down, boys. Wonder if this aircraft's been to Nagoya, Japan. <laughs> Surely it has. Surely, Surely it has. it's been to Nagoya. Uh, this is classic. You know, Sam, I'm still under the impression that you're going to make a shirt with heavy bonanza on it. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it'd be pretty cool. I'd wear it. And good morning, the X-Wing. Thanks for tuning in for our Saturday morning stream. A pleasure to have you joining both Sam and I out here as we capture the morning rush. Got the Japan 787 about to take off in runway 34 for us.
Could this be a turn and burn? No, I'm sure the tyre's going to hold it up on 2.7. And there we go, JL774 off to Tokyo Narita. Currently lined up on runway 34 there. It's probably going to hold now, as Matt said. Pardon me. To hold for uh, Thai Airways. <coughs> so if you're just tuning in now, my name's Sam from H uh, Aviation Videography. This is Matt from HD Melbourne Aviation. Good day, guys. And we're out here at Melbourne on the 16th of March, 2024. Current time is 7.50 a.m. And we're capturing this morning's movements here at Melbourne. It's been yeah. a good morning so far. Yeah. Had a couple aircraft go to seven, which has been a little bit disappointing, but you know, those things are out of our control. It is what it is. That's right. The heavy bonanza goes on. <laughs> oh God. All right. Gel's rolling now, guys. Let's get it. It'll be a good one. Jesus. The birds scared me. Oh. Good day, Angus. Cheers for tuning in, mate. Look at that. Just see those fluffy wings. Awesome. This is that time of year. I remember around March and April, that's where you get the most condensation. Awesome stuff there. And that is off to Tokyo. Got Jetstar loading up here. Three four. Looks like we have a corner seven three seven on taxiway kilo. There's going to be departing to Sydney as QF four one four. Also on pushback as well, we have our next international flight. This is going to be the Melindo or Air Baltic, uh, or Baltic Air. Sorry, off to Debussar with the seven three seven Max. Apparently we need to turn the runway cam up. So we've turned the runway cam up. Some people want to start hearing the planes a little bit more. So we'll turn it up. I can only imagine there's going to be an echo. Yeah, same. We'll see how we go though. Hopefully there's no echo now, guys. And John, we're hoping the same. I don't think it's going to go to runway 27 personally. Nine times out of ten, it's going to go two, three, four. But you never know with Melbourne. You never know. Here's QF414 up to Sydney. Another daily milk run for Qantas. Angus, you are correct there. We're going to have three LAX Expresses within the next hour. QF94, QF96, and UA98. Saturday morning is a fantastic morning for North American traffic here in Melbourne. I think it's the most flights in a day. <laughs> I 
<laughs> and Hayden. With a very generous $5 super chat there. And Hayden says, idea for a logo on a t-shirt. Sam and the Heavy Bonanza. You know, what, you know what I think personally? I think that's a great idea. But but a pouty Sam. He's got to be looking all miserable and just against the Heavy Bonanza. Like a big Heavy Bonanza and then like an arms cross Sam. Nah, a sad face. I don't think we've got to do that, mate. It's all I, good. But think, thank I you. I that'd be a great idea. Thanks, Hayden, for the super chat. As always, mate, goes a long way, so we really do appreciate it. And um, I can Your see you s you uh, scheduled the first stream, which is going to be good. So I'll know when to have the popcorn ready at home, tuning in. Feet up, Negroni in hand. Yeah. Matt, you might have to come over. We can premiere it on, on the TV. Good idea. I'll come over. Come over mine. We'll premiere it on the TV. Good idea. I think it'd be a nice change of pace to see Melbourne from behind the screen. Oh, 100%, mate. Mm. You know what I'll be doing? When the live stream's on, feed up, Negroni, some snacks. That's it, some jerky. Some beef jerky. But Hayden, I think that, you know what, I'm going to put that $5 towards him. I'm going to put it towards a graphic designer to create that shirt. All good, matey. All good. I'm Ooh, sure I could find a pair. Oh, wow. Tie, tie, tie. Oh, that's cool. Have you seen those videos, right, where basically someone goes to the AI? You know how AI can generate images? And they're like, I want you to, like, render a mouse. It's like, make the mouse sadder. No, I said sadder, even sadder, and, like, it just makes it worse and worse. It's going to be like that with you. I'm going to be like, I want, I, want, uh, I want this guy, but I want him to be pouty. More I wonder, pouty. I wonder where Ty is going. Until I got the perfect... Oh, it's amount. going next to the Virgin. <laughs> he's, being, he's trying to ignore me so bad. I love it. And fantastic news there, John. QF96, the AliEx Express heading to 3-4. And ALF, I think it came in early this morning, the Dallas flight. Usually comes in, it's like one of the first arrivals here, out of like 5am. That, or it's going to be coming tomorrow. Here's TG from Bangkok. Look at that vibrant tail. 200 likes, Miss Wolves. 13 puts in the chat 200 likes thanks guys awesome effort there from everybody thank you very very much really do appreciate that awesome support everybody and to celebrate home. 200 likes QF96 on 3-4 tremendous I think tremendous. there's nothing nothing better mm -hmm. I love that tail it's just such an icon I know next to Brunei as well it's yeah cool. good little combination Oh, sure. There we go. The Satellite International Terminal is filling up. Indeed it is. So thanks everyone for that. Awesome stuff. If you're just tuning in, welcome. It's been a good morning so far. 96 morning. is coming 3-4, which is good. 94 will definitely go 3-4. Nah. Is, nah. Nah. <laughs> yeah, keep going, mate. Heavy bonanza. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I agree, Sam. I think that shirt is a great idea. Oh, he's not a happy man. He's not a happy man. I, I'm going to create that shirt and I'm going to wear it on the next stream. No problem, mate. And Sydney at 34 left says, Got to get going. Morning duties call. Take care, Sam and Matt. Thanks for the awesome stream. Have a great day and keep that coffee flowing. Thanks for tuning in, matey. 
glad you could join us here on the on the show. You know where we are. So if you want to come back, you're more than welcome. And Thomas tuning in from Glasgow. Thanks, Thomas. Hope you're having a great night unwinding and watching what's happening in the other side of the world. Glasgow, I mean... You guys must be uh, enjoying seeing the sun. Definitely. Bit of a rarity up that way. QF96 on final approach, guys. Enjoy this one, guys. This is QF96 from LAX, wearing the 100-year Qantas special livery. Air India. Oh, correction, sorry. This is Air India. 787-8 <laughs> from Delhi. And here it comes. AI-308. I thought it was Qantas, to be honest. <laughs> Thomas saying it's been raining here all day. Uh, if that's not Glasgow, I don't know what is. Have you ever been to Scotland, Sam? No. Nah. Neither. I wanted to go last time. And there it is, greasing the runway. I wonder how long it's going to be until the new livery is put on the 787s. Good day, Scratch Cardone. Thanks for tuning in, mate. It'll definitely be cool to see the new livery on these 78s, that's for sure. Yeah, cannot wait, mate. Cannot wait. Something a bit different. Definitely. Let's get the last of this one while we can, the uh, corner 717. Rapidly retiring them. Rapidly. It's going to be a real shame when these aren't flying anymore. Yeah, it will be. It's probably one of the coolest things at Melbourne. Uh, it looks like it's taking taxiway Juliet. Indeed. First departure this morning. Uh, this is going to be heading off to Sydney. Oh wow, they're doing Sydney flights with these.
Oh. Look what we got here. Batic. Oh, wow, wait. One of three 737 MAX Airlines that comes here to Melbourne. The other two being Fiji Airways and, of course, our beloved Bonza. And uh, Alf, yep, that's the old delivery that has the hands on the kangaroo. And good day, Matt Anton. We're set up at the Terminal 4 car park. And Tobias has to leave the stream. Thanks, mate, for tuning in. Hope you have a good day, and thanks for being here. It's been good to have you here, matey. It's been a, it's been a funny morning, this one, I think. Whoa. What happened there, Giza? Whoa, Qantas. Oh. There is the Qantas Flight QF96, the LAX Express. VHZNJ. Wearing that special livery. That's one of three uh, LAX Expresses that we're expecting to see this morning. And there it goes, little rocket. Up, up and away. And yeah, Matt Anton, honestly, it's uh, it's worth checking out, although there is a, uh, a price tag on it. It's about $15 an hour to park here. But as you can see from the views, it's totally worth it. Oh, the max is going, Sam. Oh, that was pretty quick. This is uh, OD-178, going off to Dempasar, 737 MAX, wearing the full livery as well. From Dempasar, it's going to continue on to Kuala Lumpur. Up and away it goes. Up, up and away. 
Two special liveries in one shot here, guys. We got Retro and ZNJ. And here's some troubling news. Looks like Singapore has taken 2-7 for its arrival. SQ-227, the Airbus A350, is about to touch down there on runway 27 now. That's a real shame. Sure is. I'll this flight used to be operated by the Airbus A350. A little bit uh, closer. A380. Oh, yep, there we go. Retro Route 2. We've flown on this one a couple times, matey. Have we? I remember we flew this when we went, uh, I'll never forget, QF470 was the flight number. We flew to Sydney. We're going to connect on to LAX. And then the flight got cancelled, remember? Remember in Sydney, LA flight got cancelled. They put us in a hotel for the night. Oh, yeah, yeah. At the, what was it? The Pullman, wasn't the it? The Pullman, yeah. Oh, so we flew on that today. That's we? the 7-3 we flew up on. Retro. See, I always forget what I've flown on. Even to the, like, to the extent of the airlines, I completely... Yeah. I, half the time I forget. And I think we're going to have a turn and burn here, guys. I think it's going to be an instant get on and get going. So we'll see. He's not slowing down, that's for sure. All right, here is the question. Coffee choices. As I always say, you can tell a lot from a person depending on the type of coffee they choose to drink. All right, Sam, out of these four, what are you choosing? Long yeah. black, flat white, vanilla latte, or espresso shot? Probably espresso shot. Really? Yeah. Vanilla latte is calling, though. I don't mind an espresso shot. It's, it's good. Simple, gets to the point. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Like if you're doing, if Wakes you're drinking, you co if you're drinking coffee for the function, espresso right? shots. Espresso shots. If are the you're way drinking to go. it for the pleasure and enjoyment of the taste, vanilla latte is good. Yeah, exactly. But you know, when you're editing at two a.m. in the morning and grinding out an all-nighter to get it done, um, yeah, vanilla latte is not going to cut it. Yeah, you want that espresso shots. 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 Not shot. Yeah. What's your record? Of espresso shots. Oh, I don't know. In a mate. row. I've had a couple just to. <laughs> just to really, like, just kick yeah, it in, yeah? I'll be honest. Like, yesterday evening, because I got up at. It was about 3 a.m. to get to Avalon for 4, to get the Silkway 747 to get a video of that. Yeah. And then I ended up leaving Avalon at about 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. or whatever it was. <laughs> And I remember I got back home and I was just feeling like crap. Yeah, like I just bet. just genuinely just not feeling great. Yeah, I bet. So I had a bit of a nap and then got up and did some editing. And the amount of Nespresso shots I had to have yeah. just to maintain <laughs> yeah. some kind of brain function. Well, last night I was editing for a while 
And then I went out. I came back home. I went out for dinner. I came home. I slept for about an hour. I just passed out on the couch. Yeah. That's when you called me. And I got <laughs> up, got the stream ready, did a bit of... Uh, I went to the shops, got two cans of Red Bull. <laughs> it's not enough. Yeah, it just wasn't. Like, just so tired after a working week. You know what we need? We need a cauldron of Red Bull. Yeah. Like, with a, with a ladle and everything. Just stir it in the morning. It's the only way. Liters and oh, liters. Imagine the amount of, like, sugar and stuff in there. Oh, it'd, it'd rot your teeth. And what about the tureen? Like, oh. you know what tureen is, right? Yeah. You, you Do you? It's an it's like some something they add in there, isn't it? <laughs> you don't know what it is. <laughs> it's it's a uh, bile from a bull. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's why they call it Red Bull. Oh. It's like the stomach acid. Oh wow. And uh, I was actually talking to Bart about this, and because uh, he always says there's nothing worse than a, a warm Red Bull, because the taurine kind of separates. Oh. And you can taste it. Yuck. <laughs> Don't even get me started, mate. Don't want to hear <laughs> any further. Thanks. It's kind of gross. Like, the st- for starters, right, what is people's obsessions with cows? Because at first, like, who decided to drink their milk? Who decided to extract stomach acid from a bull for energy? Like, what? How does this even happen? Who knows, mate? Who knows? That new livery on the Jetstar looks fantastic. Sure does. In the early morning sun. Fantastic. And looks like we have a 3-4 arrival. Oh, I think it just landed. <laughs> the Rex. So quite a bit of traffic heading over to 2-7, despite the fact that the wind is, in fact, easterly. You wouldn't believe it. Like, how long do you think, Sam, they'd be using runway 3-4 if there was, an, if there was a uh, southerly wind? Oh... That's right. They would change it before the winds even happen. Yeah, exactly. But 2-7 and like a tailwind, not a problem. Our next heavy landing shortly is going to be the United 7879 from Los Angeles. This is going to be the next LAX Express, hopefully coming down to runway 3-4. UA-98. UA-98 for us to all enjoy. The next Aliex Express after that is going to be the Qantas A380, the uh, best of the bunch, in my opinion. The best of the bunch. Not even worse as well. Seems like most of the energy drinks have that, that terrain. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're not safe. Monster has it. Yeah. I'm not a big energy drink Neither. Like, drinker. Like, the only time I have it is when we're coming out the stream and I've had yeah. no sleep. Actually, the last time I properly had it was when we were in Amsterdam. We're driving. <laughs> no, no, no. I promise you. We had like a. I bought a six pack. I bought. I bought a six pack of. Um, of that stuff. I just remember. The amount of monster energy that we consumed, on that trip. No, I remember when we were driving Amsterdam. We left Amsterdam early morning, like very early. I think it was like 6 a.m. 
No, it was, it was before that. Before that, yeah. At we least. had to get to Amster We had to get to Frankfurt at six. Yeah. <laughs> so we left at like two. No, no, it wasn't that early. We left at like three. Oh, was it three? We had to get there by like eight a.m. or something. Oh, okay. So still three. It was still early. And I remember we like stopped at this um, petrol station. You were fast asleep in the passenger seat. I got out, paid my like two euros to use the bathroom. <laughs> went in. <laughs> yeah, went oh, so in. This is in, this is in Germany. We yeah, crossed the border. Yeah, this point. exactly. I went in and I found a. It was like a six pack of Red Bulls. I was like, oh, I need this. So I was like, I'm gonna like die if I don't have anything. <laughs> Bought it and we were just like. I think I had all six on the one drive. Oh, you would have, yeah. Yeah. Like, you start off, you just chug the first yeah. one, like, half finish the second one, and then, like, keep that there, sip away at it. Yeah, definitely. I found, like, with the energy drinks on long drives, if you're really fatigued, sipping away at it helps. Yeah, it does. Like, well, it, keeps it keeps you, you awake. active. Keeps you active. So there's a couple times there where, you know, you, you dr your eyes become a bit drowsy and you start oh. veering, and you're like, whoa. Do you remember that night driving oh. from... Where like was it? From Munich all the way to Amsterdam, we did the two, two stops. To Amsterdam, yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you remember it was about 4 a.m. and like you had passed out and I was about to. I kept swerving and I'm like, oh, dude. <laughs> no, no, no. I drove over? I drove yeah. majority of the way until you did. like at some point and I said to you, nah, mate, you got to take over for a bit. That's it. And you got a little bit into it and you were already like, nah, I'm done. So we were like probably 20 minutes out from Amsterdam. Well, like we got to swap. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? That's the thing. The same yeah. thing happened when we drove from New York to Miami. <laughs> I drove for like... <laughs> you did a lot of driving. I, I did like... I think it was like 16 hours. You didn't do that much. I did a lot, mate. You did. but I did I did the first... It was a 20-hour drive. I did the first four. You did the first like two. It wasn't two. It was four. It was not four. Yeah. No way. Got all the way to like... You drove to like West New Virginia? Jersey. Remember we I drove... Didn't drive to, we didn't... We went through there. We, I yeah, through, remember we stopped at Dallas. that gas station? Yeah. And all like these families were going on holiday. After we got the snacks, I took over. No, dude, that was in Philadelphia. New that Jersey. Was, that was well beyond that New Jersey. That was Jersey, man. I'm telling you. That was not you. Jersey. I'm telling you There was is Jersey. no chance that was Jersey. I'm telling you it was New Jersey. Just believe me. This guy. <laughs> wow. That, that's a good argument. I'm telling you, believe me. Like, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> it was definitely New Jersey, man. Because then I took over and just kept going into the night. And it became a mammoth, mammoth trip. And I remember I sat in the back after we finally swapped, tried to sleep, and I couldn't. And I think we got to, like, Jacksonville or something. Something like that. And then I swapped back again. Because I was passing out in the front seat as well. You saw me. Yeah. But that was that was an experience. Like those are the things you live for. Like that's what I live for. An experience with that with a mate is just second to none. Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's fun. It was it was fun. It's something you don't forget. And look here, no. we're chatting. We're we're having a chat about it now. I I still remember the whole drive really. Yeah, same. <laughs> I remember just stopping at the the restrooms and just like all the color was out of our faces. Yeah. We were that tired. Yeah. Do you remember that one gas station where we went in and it was like all greasy like. That was all of them. Sauce. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> that was all of them. We were going to get some food, but it was so greasy. Maybe maybe we'll wait. We'll wait a little bit. <laughs> and it looks like the Jetstar 787 is pushing back over there. Lots of action here this morning. <laughs> and Mark... Say great to have you back supporting Melbourne Airport. Sydney has SID squad and Brisbane had Julia flights. Well done. That's it. Australia, I think, is well covered between all of us. Yeah. We've got it all sorted. Well, we've got a trip planned for the first week of May. The first weekend of May, guys. Yep. It's yep. going to be a three-day trip. It's going to be a good one. I think it will be. I'm looking forward to it. Should be good. I'm really looking forward to it. Going to be heading up to Sydney for the first week of May. We're going to be focusing on doing some live streams. Uh, we want to do the night rush properly. We want to also do the morning rush as well. You know, it's going to be another one of this. It's just like living on coffee and energy drinks. Just to yeah. And we're going to be driving up there as well. Mm. I'm going to be driving up. We're going to be driving up. So we'll leave on a Thursday or f yeah Thursday night. We'll leave. We'll drive up and um, yeah, it'll be a really good day. I mean, a really good weekend. Sorry. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, me too. Should be great fun. I think all the viewers should be looking forward to it as well because we're going to get a lot more heavy action up there. Oh, 100%. A lot more. Yeah, and unlike Melbourne, you know, 
there's not really a runway 27. I mean, they do have the parallel, but if you're on the international car park and using 1.6, it's not really a problem. You just go for the ultra 600mm zoom. So the Jetstar 787 is taxing up there. And the United 787 is also heading down to runway 34 as well. Ooh, and the Point Air Embraer E190 E2 has just lit up as well at the oh. jet base. So that's going to be coming from over down this way, past the jet base. What do we got over at the Qantas hangars? We've got a Qantas 73 and the 321 freighter down there. Yep. Can't see anything in the hangar, though. No, no, nothing's in the hangar. Shockingly, no 787s are broken. Yeah. <laughs> Now that is news. But yeah, make sure you put it down in your calendar, guys. HD and AV on the fly. On the fly, you say. On the move. On the move. On the go. On the go. Yeah, I like on the go. I on like the go. HD and AV on the go. On the run. On the run. That's a good one. On the run. On the run. I don't mind that one. You but know, yeah. um, there's a gas station in Egypt called On the Run. And it's my favorite one. <laughs> First weekend of May, guys. AV and HD in um, Sydney. On the run. On the run. Sounds That's like we're running from the cops. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the chase. On the prowl. No, on the prowl just sounds... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like on the prowl. I think we'll stick away from that one. <laughs> <laughs> AV on the prowl to Sydney. Oh, what a shocker. No, without a doubt. Uh, I think the Sydney trip's going to be fantastic. Going to get a lot of streaming done. A lot yeah. of spotting covered. And For I'm really sure. looking forward to the Night Rush streams. Alrighty, I want everyone's opinion. I'm putting up a poll. Ooh. Poll time. It is time for a poll. Flaming Gala. Good morning, lads, mods, and the chat. Hope everyone's well. Thanks for tuning in, matey. Good day, Good mate. Good to have you here. Alrighty, let's start a poll. Where do you write it? Yo, we gotta we gotta end the poll. There's oh, you gotta close the current poll. Yeah. Alright, what's win white. what's winning the coffee choice? Flat white wins. Interesting. Look at that. And here I was thinking once you go black you never go Flat back. Flat white, then long black, then vanilla latte, and finally espresso shot with forty votes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable effort there. Not too bad. But yeah, I would agree with you, Sam. It's, it's more about what you want to drink the coffee for. Alrighty. I'm setting up a new poll now, guys. So don't go anywhere, guys. We have that point here. Embraer E190 E2 about to taxi out. And United 787 wearing that new livery coming in from Los Angeles is about to land on runway 34 as well. That's going to be turning on to short finals very, very soon. For those who are somewhat aware of the geography of, or, yeah, geography of Melbourne, it's flying directly over the city, meaning it's going to take a, uh, a right-hand turn pretty much a minute. Well, here we go. <laughs> Back to international live streams. Where would you like us? Oh, not London. Too hard? It's Way so too much hard. weather dependent. It's just, and, and the spots are so hard. You have to get proper approval from hotels and all that. Yeah. It sounds like a nightmare. Eventually, we'll aim to get that approval and things yeah. like that. But that's going to take weeks of preparation. Tokyo, really? That would take weeks of preparation to get that approval and stuff, though. I'd say it'd take months for London. Yeah, we'd have to really have a good old chat to them, I think. It's like the biggest headache of an airport I've ever had filming from is London. Yeah, but it depends also on runway ops. Like, you'd hate to get an approval approved. And then zero nine, and, and you're then, like, yeah. come on. Come on. Come on. All right, what's another option we can... Another option for an international destination. Yeah, what are we thinking? What are we feeling? What should we put as the last one for people to pick? Melbourne. No, mate. <laughs> We're already here. Melbourne, Florida. Uh... 
What about we go back to the roots? No, no, not New York. Back to the roots? Miami. Miami. Yes. They, those are the classic the roots. Classic but, the classic roots. But to get there, we've got to land in New York. No, oh, no, no, <laughs> no, not yes. again. No, that was dreadful. And then yes. we won't get a flight and then straight back to the 20 hour drive. Indeed. Alrighty guys, check out the poll in the chat. Back to international live streams here at AV. Where would you like us? Can't say it's going to be the first AV live stream overseas because, you know, we've done plenty of international ones before. We started at the root, at the, at the core of yeah. AV was at Miami. <laughs> that was when we came out with, like, the most basic graphics. and <laughs> Yeah, this works. A massive lag in the stream with a completely different software as well. <laughs> <laughs> the strain of doom. <laughs> the strain of doom. That was our biggest problem. Yeah. The we know is the internet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, Miami. I, I low-key want Miami to win. <laughs> Same. Because <laughs> it's such a cool airport. Are they still flying the DC-8? Nah. No I don't more. think so. Nah, I think it's, it's gone. Done. I think it's done. <laughs> yeah. No it's more broken. Skybus DC-8s. <laughs> come on, Miami. Who uh, doesn't want Miami to win? Come on. It's apparently everyone. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not eight percent. I wouldn't mind heading back to Miami. Yeah, lots of classics there. The only problem I remember midday was really hard to like keep things interesting. Like, do you remember that that period we did? And it was like between like twelve and two p.m. Yeah, and there it was, was just nothing dead, <laughs> or it was just the most repeat repeated it was, stuff. It was just American Embraer after American Embraer, yeah. and after oh, a while, actually, you know, where it was a really good spot near that industrial area. That we went, that we got kicked out from, though. Remember, on the sand hill. Oh yeah. Yeah, near the postal area. Yeah, yeah. yeah and all the workers were like, "What's going on here? What are you boys doing here?" Yeah, I <laughs> get, remember that one. Get on out. Well, I remember you had the problem, but um, like when you went there in the morning and then got kicked out straight away. <laughs> no, like, the, cause I, that was because I was I was near the fence, and yeah, I, some police came around and said, "Oh, you know, we got you got reported." They called up. I was like, oh, really? And he's like, you got to move on. So I had to get in an Uber straight away. And he would not leave until I packed up the gear. Yeah. You got the Miami welcome. So I was like, I, I literally said, yeah, I'll, I'll leave shortly, mate. And he's like, well, I'm not leaving until you get all that stuff packed <laughs> up and you're out of here. I was like, well. Until I see progress. Yeah, until I see I some progress. I ain't going nowhere. Moving. So I pretty much packed it up and ordered an Uber and headed back towards Matt. Anyway, guys, in the meantime, let's um, get United Flight 98. 98. From LAX, now on final for Runway 34. The LAX Express. Alrighty, guys. Angus H says thanks for the stream, boys. Got to head off now. Thanks for tuning in, matey. Hope you enjoyed it. In the meantime, though, guys, we're going to keep the poll open until United lands. So after United lands, poll's closing. You <laughs> guys are choosing <laughs> Amsterdam so far. Matt, we, we Matt, we have to go by this, no oh, matter what. It couldn't be any further away. Couldn't it be Bangkok? I'm it's not joking. We can't just say, oh, you know, we're going to New Zealand or, you know, we're going somewhere else. We have to go by this now. It's <laughs> set in stone. Whatever the viewers want, we have to do it. Oh, man. Amsterdam so far, though. Hey, this could be good for Bart, so we'll all yeah, get to catch up. perfectly for Bart. Bart a touchdown there by that United. Very nice. Glowing United livery there on the 787-9. There we are. Great to have the United 787-9 slowing down there on runway 34, arriving in from LAX, Los Angeles. That'll vacate 34 and head to its uh, allocated gate over at Terminal 2. You can see the other LAX Express that came in earlier, the Qantas Flight 90, 95 there unloading. Sorry, 96. 
the third and final LAX Express is still 50 minutes away. That's going to be the Qantas A380, the Legacy QF94 flight. Not far now. The Legacy. We also have a departure on runway 34 as well, the Virgin Australia 737 to Brisbane as VA313. Perfect. Taking taxiway Juliet as it embarks on its journey up north. There it is. Plenty of Virgin Australia, Qantas and Jetstar flights. Plenty. Let's get another 20 votes, guys. We need more votes. Make your votes count. More votes, more votes. All right, I'm going to go on my account. I'm going to vote for Bangkok because it's the closest. <laughs> oh, what happened? How's Tokyo so far ahead now? Yeah. Well, I'm going on my account. And I know what I'm voting for. <laughs> Why would you? Come on, man. I thought you'd want to... Well, I'm not actually that big on flying. Say again? I'm not that big on flying. I like the idea that Bangkok's one one stop away, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but, you know, business class, come on. It's a one-stop shop. Business class. Yeah, but we have to get it. <laughs> we have to get it, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, could you imagine, like, flying economy all the way? Oh, I mean, if it's for a stream and you're going to catch up with some good people over there, I can't complain. Fly scoot. Huh? We'll fly scoot to Berlin. Nah, I'm not flying scoot, <laughs> mate. <I'm> dreaming. <laughs> I'm thinking Melbourne, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Helsinki, Helsinki, AMS. Oh my god. Mate, cheap. <laughs> yeah. Fin Air. Who wouldn't want to go on Fin Air? I know. Well, you know what else we can do with Fin Air? What? We can go Melbourne, Sydney, Sydney, Bangkok. Melbourne, Sydney, Sydney, Singapore, Singapore, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Uh, Helsinki. <laughs> um, I love the difference because Sam loves to fly and I don't. Sam, do you remember the round the world trip you wanted to do? Yeah, I do. <laughs> hey, if I'm in business class, I'm not complaining, mate. Yeah, if you are. <laughs> Barreling down 3 4 there, just about to rotate out. Is that off to Brizzy, did you say? It is indeed, off to Brizzy. Up to Julia Flights territory. That's it, Gavin and Julia, we're sending this one to you. Enjoy that. Taxing out of the jet base, we have that point here, Embraer E190 E2. There it is. All right. This is either going to go taxiway kilo onto 3-4 or it's going to turn right and go straight to runway 27. There is no middle ground, it's just one or the other. Come on, go 3-4. You're joking. It's not doing it. What? Uh -oh. It's so silly, man. <laughs> it's, it's so much quicker just to taxi to 3-4. It's right there. Are they seriously going to make a taxi 10 extra minutes to 2-7? Silly. That's just silliness. Complete silliness. Here Let's get a close-up of it while we can, guys, before she heads over to... Two seven. It just doesn't make any sense. Come on, guys. Let's get the poll. Keep it going. We want some more votes there. Did you vote, Matt? I did. What did you vote for? Bangkok. Oh, not AMS. No. No, not AMS. Why not? Uh, it's it's actually pretty simple. Um, I don't like the idea of having to fly another twenty four hours to get there. Nah, you won't have to fight another 24 hours. Oh. Let's go Melbourne, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Helsinki. Call it a day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Nine hours to Hong Kong, 12 hours to Helsinki, 21. Another two and a bit to AMS. Yeah, 24 no hours. Well, we can go Melbourne, Singapore, Singapore, uh -huh. Amsterdam with KLM.
it's just a very long way. And Geordie in the chat. G'day, Geordie. Make sure you put your vote in, mate. I think you and I are on the same page with the votes. There it is, taxiing all the way to runway 27. At least we've got a great view of it going past. This aircraft used to actually belong to Air Kiribati. Before they... Uh, I think they went bust. <laughs> they started at a very unfortunate time. And Geordie, good to see you there, mate. Oh, and there we go. We've got the uh, special Menduwurji livery taking off here at Melbourne, going off to runway 34, doing a milk run up to Sydney. Tremendous catch there, keeping things interesting. For sure. <laughs> and Jordy's saying four to five different camera angles at um, Schiphol in one live stream. Could you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> you know where I want to go for the live stream, though. Where do you want to go for a live Head stream? Head on spot. Hold the barn. You want to go back to the classic place. Mate, that was the best, one of the best streams. Could you imagine doing it now? With the, all, with the knowledge we have... Because yeah. back then, we, we had no idea what we were doing still. We didn't really know. <laughs> do, do, do you remember the tubs? Oh. <laughs> 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 the tubs, the, the tubs, tubs, tubs of death. <laughs> the tubs of doom. You know what we would do this time as well? Get one of the, buy one of those carts, like trolleys. Yeah. You actually check one in here. You can buy one here and check it in. Yeah, exactly. So the funny thing is, uh, bef uh, when we were doing live streams in Amsterdam, uh, that entire Europe trip, I remember we went to the shops to try and buy a table and we couldn't find one, so we thought these plastic tubs will do. So we just stacked two tubs on each other to put the laptop on and we had to carry <laughs> the, uh, the tubs everywhere we went. And they were the most nuisance <laughs> thing in the world. <laughs> so <laughs> to get to this spot, right, to get to this spot, guys, where we did... Our nine-hour stream at AMS, <laughs> you had to walk through like this field, a <laughs> long walk as well. And keep it's in mind, this is a field, so it's not just a paved, paved uh, footpath. This is a field with holes and trenches, and mm. like one mishap and you roll your ankle. Do you know oh what yeah. I mean? Oh yeah. Oh um, yeah. And it was at least twenty-five minutes. Yeah, and then like to just to top it off, right? We had these like massive bottles of water <laughs> that we put in the tubs because <laughs> we needed water because we didn't want to have to walk back. <laughs> so he's, the tubs were f extremely heavy. Oh yeah, and they were like breaking and falling apart as well. <laughs> one of them was like already broken at one end, so everything would just fall out <laughs> if you put something in it. <laughs> it was terrible, absolutely the, terrible. The tubs, <laughs> tubs of death, the tubs of death, the tubs of doom. Oh man, that was. I, I remember I had the unfortunate job of carrying those across the fields. I carried them across the field no, as well. Yeah, I think you did on the way back. But on the way there, I remember it was me. Was it? Yeah, it was. I think no. No, I you had the, the tripod. The way you, around. you had the tripod. You had the tripod and like the suitcase with the stuff. Oh, here's the thing. Now we're gonna have to have even more. Two tripods now. Two tripods. One each. One each. Yeah, transporting this stuff around is gonna get even worse. I think it'll be easier if we buy the trolley. Because yeah. you know the trolley actually has off-road wheels. Like the wheels are like off. The full drive monster the truck drive wheels. Monster truck wheels. So you put put everything in the tub, in the yep. trolley, you're good yep. to go. Happy days. Happy, Happy days. days. That's the way. I think it would be. 
It looks like Tokyo is like, like well in the lead. Going crazy. The fields. <laughs> <freaking> <laughs> yeah, push. the fields. That's it, Jordy. You know the spot we're talking about. Ah, that's all right, mate. We're used to the old bush bashing. We're yeah. Aussies. It was just terrible. And I think. Oh, where did we leave? The, <laughs> where did we leave the tubs? I can't remember. <laughs> no, because I left a bit early. I left in Frankfurt. Remember? You still had the car. You dropped me off at the I airport. Think I, just, I, th I think I like gave it to the hotel reception or something. Oh. <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> I don't know where, where do I throw these away. What I love is she's probably thinking she probably has no idea what those tubs have been through either. That's it. They just thought, oh, plastic tubs, not knowing that they've probably travelled more than like the person at the hotel reception. Yeah. <laughs> gone through more than <laughs> any any like person should. <laughs> Oh, man. I, we didn't treat those tubs very well either. Considering the service they did for us, we were throwing them around everywhere. That's how they broke. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, there was one end of it that was just completely snapped off. Yeah, like like at the bottom because we threw it. Instead of placing it, and it just kind of like... Oh, it, it buckled under the, the weight. Crazy. Oh, man. Tokyo. Come on, AMS. I want AMS to win. Mm. I want to do AMS. Like, I, I miss that do. place, dude. Yeah. The runway roulette. Just, I just miss that place. That is such a, such a not such a cool place. I miss Bangkok. It's only hey, how about eight this? hours. How away. about this? Melbourne, Bangkok stream, Bangkok AMS stream. I've got an idea. That's how a about idea. how about we do Melbourne, Bangkok, and then you can go to Amsterdam and stream, and I'll go home. Oh, okay. You don't want to go to AMS. It's so far. <laughs> I'm so overflying. We gotta keep it going. Gotta keep it going, do we? I think Geordie's on on the same page. He knows where we're coming from. <laughs> Geordie knows. Encouraging us to do AMS, eh? Mate, I want to do AMS so bad. I was on the phone to Bart the other night. I think for like probably half of the phone call, we're just like, yeah, 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 we got to do it. We got to do it. You got to come. You got to come. And then he called. He, we, we called on the on my way to work that morning because of obviously the time zone difference, and I get up fairly early to put work. And we're just like, yeah, 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 we've got to do it. We've got to do it. It's got to be sorted. It's got to be planned. Got to get to AMS. Got to get to AMS. You know what would be cool to see, though? That new orange pride. Yeah, definitely. Because they've, the, uh, they've revised the livery and it looks even better. Because that would make a tremendous thumbnail for a stream. And Johan says, guys, next time I, next time in Amsterdam, I'll drive you around. All this walking around schkebol is for amateurs, not for pros like you. Greetings from Amsterdam. Thanks, oh, matey. Cheers, Appreciate mate. it. We uh, actually... We, we did drive. It's we just did drive. You can't drive down that field. Yeah, that field. <laughs> we couldn't drive down there. No. Because it was like a river crossing as well. Yeah, it's... Uh, but, no. um, yeah, we had an Audi when we were there. It was, it was good fun. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, mate. We'll let you know when we do head over to back to AMS and keep you posted although if you did have like a golf buggy or something yeah, that'd be the way down the field a golf buggy would be awesome yeah a car wouldn't be allowed but a golf buggy probably is a great yeah, area I'd Geordie can that. you confirm Geordie you can sort this out for us Geordie hire it, get us a golf buggy <laughs> the weight is on your shoulders mate <laughs> <laughs> the fate of the stream yeah <laughs> the live streams <laughs> depend on you uh, and poor Geordie just tuned in probably with yeah, like, <laughs> yeah he's just, what have I got myself into yeah just like <laughs> these guys these clowns these guys what have they done now like he's just unwinding he's having like a beer or something yeah <laughs> it's like yeah it's all on you mate <laughs> it's all on you Geordie 
Ooh. Oh, I heard, yeah. Yeah, wow. Oh, tw it's that early, 24th of March. Damn. No way I'm getting there. Sounds like when you go to Europe, Sam, you may as well uh, pop over to AMS. I'm not I'm not going until the 12th of April. We need an ATV. <laughs> ATV. Yes. That's the way to do it. That is the way. <laughs> the AV ATV. <laughs> yeah. The AV you know, ATV. You know, you could have, like, on the side it could be written ATV and you just, like, cross out the T. <sighs> AV. And then we've got to paint it AV orange. That'd be awesome. Yeah, but, no, seriously, like, we could buy one of those little trolley baskets. Do you know what I mean? The trolley basket? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll buy one. Because they fold up. Check it in. What we do have to get is, like, because airlines have one piece restrictions, not weight, we have to get, like, a massive bag that we can just fit everything into. <laughs> An over oversized bag. For the 40 trolley. kilos of stream equipment. The trolley, the table. The oh, the, the table. <laughs> the table. Tripod. And on screen there is a uh, corner 737-800 lining up on runway 34 at the Juliet entrance. This one's heading up to Canberra as uh, QF948. Vietnam Airlines isn't too far out now, guys, so hopefully we'll see it fairly soon. There's A350-900. Most of them can handle only 50 kilos. We shouldn't, we shouldn't have that much. It's just going to be, we, all we really have for the stream gear is one small carry-on suitcase with like everything in it, pretty much, and a little tub with some other equipment. I don't think it's 50 kilos though, so I think we'd be right. But, you know, we'll wait and see. We'll see how we go. Yeah, I don't think it's 50 kilos. But we're going to need two tripods now because of the selfie cam. Oh, we already had two tripods anyways when we, when we were there because of the, um, the spotting. I think the only problem is with the 50 kilo limit is that's how much coffee I plan to take out with me. Yeah, all right, mate. <laughs> Funny guy. All right, let's have a look on the radar, guys. QF94, the 380, about half an hour away. This is wearing the old delivery, so I'm really, really looking forward to seeing this one. You just can't beat it. Seriously can't. Axis Productions, how are you going? Coffee or beer, says Geordie. Ooh. Ooh. Coffee in the morning, beers after 12. <laughs> beers after 12. <laughs> beers for the rest of the Arvo. Wake up with a beer. Oh, no, nah, I can't do that. Proper alcoholic. Yeah, no, nah, <laughs> I can't do that. Could you imagine coming on the stream sloshed? Oh. <laughs> Slurring the words. I think after 12, with yourself. 
After 12, it's beer o'clock. With yourself, Bart, Geordie, we could have a grand old time. There's a Dash AQ300 there being tugged. I'm guessing that was over at the maintenance hangars. That's going to go up to Terminal 1. I've always thought these little tugs for the Dash 8s to look like clown cars. Like, they're really, really tiny and you got two big dudes in it. Yeah. Oh, I take that back. Three dudes in it. <laughs> oh, three. <laughs> Geordie. <laughs> this is how live stream should be half wasted. <laughs> like in P3. Oh man, that was a fun afternoon. I think nothing helps clear up the mind like a little bit of vodka. That's uh, CX-134 pushing back there, guys. 35900 off to Honkers. Vietnam's downwind. Indeed, Vietnam is downwind. That's uh, coming in from Ho Chi Minh. On screen there is Velocity 259 to Canberra, the <laughs> That's it, Jordy. Booze makes everything better. But I mean, for Amsterdam, that's just weather. <laughs> All weather there is usually just total bull. I wonder how we'd go for a stream in Tokyo. Where would we do it? It's only really one spot. It's that park. At Narita. At Narita. How about Haneda? Anywhere there? Yeah, there's decks all the over deck, the place. Yeah. Deck would be cool. Got to pick your side, A and A or gel. Ah, uh, gel. 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 For A uh, and A side gets air do. One day we do A and A, next day we do gel. That's the way. Simple. You really could do huge streams there as well. Like it never really gets quiet. There's always something. Yeah. Plane Spotting Australia says, good morning guys, good morning mate, welcome. We just got on screen our CX-134. Off to Hong Kong this morning. When's the Farnborough International Air Show? I think July, isn't it? Maybe we should plan something. Farnborough? Yeah. What about the Royal International Air Show? Yeah, but Farnborough gets like a lot of, a lot more stuff, I think. Yeah, but the, the what is it, the RIAT one? 
That's in the same sort of time zone. It's like same period, same month. Well, watch out for it. I think that one's in the UK. Yeah. And Jordy asks, but how do you manage the internet outside of Australia? You guys buy eSIM cards. What do we do in Amsterdam? Do we <laughs> hotspot it off our phone? Yeah. We kept buying the, the 90 euro SIM cards with like 10 gig. Nah, we had a modem. I'm sure we had a router. Oh, yeah, we did, but we put it in the modem. And it didn't work half the time. Remember in Brussels? Yeah. <laughs> we just stopped. And have to keep o taking it in and out. <laughs> so what does this one have? A SIM card? This is a SIM card. So could we put an, an international SIM card in this and it would work? I have to unlock it, but yes. Once I unlock it, because right now it's locked to Telstra. Okay. Well, yeah, that's what we do, Geordie. We buy the SIM card. So that's what we might do, mate. If we go to AMS, we'll just have to get... We'll get a SIM card and put in the router and it should work a treat. Should work a treat after that. Should. Should. Should work a treat. Until it starts coming up yeah. with the same errors as the other one. No, nah, we'll be right. This one's... You've got to admit, this one hasn't caused so us much any issues at all. Even when we were out here in Melbourne with the old one, it would cause <laughs> us issues. Remember with the old one, we had to walk to a certain spot of this car park or else it wouldn't yeah. work. And that, and you'd have to take the SIM card in and out like 10 times just for it to fit in correctly to read it. Yeah, yeah, then that. Actually, no, this has the same problem, I think, doesn't uh, it? I don't know. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, I, I think it does. Because the only thing oh, is... Oh, that's um, great. Because it's made for micro sims and normal sims. Yeah. And we we always get the micro sims for the phone. Okay. Yeah. So you've got to yeah, get yeah. the case around it so you can put it in yeah. correctly. All right. Well, you know, when we're in AMS, we'll be buying the sims. But that's how we do it, Jordy. We buy the sims and we put them in the router. Alrighty, guys. On screen there is the Cathay 350CX134. And yeah, Jordy, it's a much it's a it's an easy way to do it. You just gotta get an unlocked router. Um that you can plug into your battery, keep it charged and go from there. Via SIM card. There we go, Jordy, multiple angles on Farnborough. Yeah. Well yeah, look I should you we should find out when the air show dates are. If anyone knows the dates for both of those air shows, both the Farnborough and the R I A T air show, let us know in the chat below, because I wouldn't mind trying to plan to get over there and we can do some streaming in the UK while we're at it it's it's like you hate me or something <laughs> why is that oh, get get ready for the for making friends with security we'll know them by name at Heathrow <laughs> oh yeah geezer <laughs> with all the with all the with all the equipment <laughs> okay, so you can't bend this in here, my man. Oh, why is that? Oh, because I said so, Giza. You know, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take him out to the pub. Yeah. We're going to buy him a nice, like, a uh, steak and palmer meal. Yeah. Right? We're going to give him beers, and we're yeah. going to lighten their spirits. We're going to be like, so about that streaming, right? Yeah, about the equipment that I was trying to bring in. You think you could give that back? <laughs> oh, yeah, Giza, no problem, no All problem. Oh, good, my man. Oh, good, my man. <laughs> oh, good there. If you want, right, we can get your airside for it. For being such a top bloke. Oh, Geordie gave us the uh, um, dates already. Uh, RIAT 2024 is the 21st of July on the weekend. Oh, I've got to take a photo of this because I do not want to miss it. If I can plan to get over there to get some filming done, we will be. Phone bro is the 22nd to the 26th of July. Sick. That'll be awesome. We have to plan this, mate. Yes. Qantas to London. Nah. Nah. We don't take QF1? Nah. I'm thinking Melbourne or Hong Kong on Qantas. <laughs> Hong Kong to Helsinki on Finnair. <laughs> Do you want business class or not? Can only use my Finnair points, mate. <laughs> Can <Okay>, use the <laughs> Finnair points. <laughs> And that flight, you can get upgraded so much more easier. Easily. Sorry. Putting that aside, we've got VN781 about to touch down here on runway 34. The stunning blue A350. Kissing the runway. Kissing it.
Man, there's just something about that Vietnam 350 livery. Sure is, mate. It just stands out so much. But Sam, you know what that means? I think you know what it means. Guess what Vietnam is? It's a heavy. No, no, no. Not just a heavy. Vietnam is the beginning of their heavy bonanza. Round two. That's good, mate. The second round of the heavy bonanza. We've got Vietnam coming in. We've got Cathay going out. We've got Malaysia coming in. Xiamen, China Southern, Shanghai, Qantas 380. Singapore 350, I think. Yep. Jetstar 78. The heavy bonanza is about to be in full swing, my man. Sure is, Kizar. <laughs> you know what it's missing, though? It's What's missing, it missing British Airways. Oh, yeah, I wish. Man, if we could just get British Airways back. What was it? BA-16. Oh, was no, it, that's, that's a Sydney flight. BA-18. Melbourne, Singapore, Singapore, London. Surely that's the way you'd go there. Oh, if, if, if British I had Airways points, flew here. But, you know, got to use fin air points up. Got to use the fin air points. Plus, mate, you have a much higher chance of getting upgraded on that Hong Kong Helsinki route compared to anything else. I've had a look at the loads. Singapore to Helsinki is just always full. Singapore to anywhere is always full. Yeah, quite literally. Out of Hong Kong, it seems to always have some extra seats. So. Well, my question is, how would it be out of like mainland China? Because I know Shanghai gets a bunch of airlines as well. Do they get thin air? Maybe not. I, I wonder what Seoul would be like, because they fly to Seoul as well. They do. They do fly to Seoul. I'll have a look. But I do wonder, because the Chinese airlines will generally take a lot of the connections, because they have like yeah. really good fares. Yeah. So Alrighty, I, guys. Here's Cathay. See, we could take this. Quite literally, we could take this, fly to Honkers, do a bit of spotting, connect, then go on to Helsinki with Finnair. We really could, my guy. And Geezer. we will. What's that? And we will be. And oh, we will be, will we? There it is, CX134 off to Hong Kong, guys. Will we be on this in a couple of months? July is calling <laughs> for the RIAT air show. Let's get this taking off. Commemorate this moment. Commemorate it. Remember it. Log it down. Hold us accountable. No, <laughs> don't hold us accountable. Yes. We, ha <laughs> yes. we have to go. R I A T A show is calling. Yeah, see, the R I A R I A T A show is yeah, better. That's why I'm saying we're gonna go. Uh. All right, Cathay Pacific about to take off here. Just waiting for a runway two seven arrival. And off we go. The heavy bonanza is in full swing now. Indeed it is, mate. Where's the next one, though? Let's have a look. Where's our next heavy of the heavy bonanza? Let's have a look at what we've got coming in next. Looks like uh, Malaysian, the 350-900's just about to turn on to left base. The heavy bonanza. MH149 arriving in from Kuala Lumpur. And uh, Qantas 380, QF94, currently 20 minutes out, guys. Not too far. Brilliant.
We've got a Rex 737-800 waiting at the end of runway 34 here. It's going to be going to the Gold Coast as ZL658. Heading up north for its two hour journey. Super early rotation on that. Alrighty, we got a, a Virgin there on Taxiway Juliet entering runway 3-4. Let's see where that one's off to. It's uh, Velocity 827 up to Sydney. Another milk run. Ah, looks like the Qantas Link A220 is just lit up at uh, Terminal 1 on Flight Radar. So we should see that one heading off to Canberra a little bit later. Hopefully on the stream. But don't forget, MH149 now turned just onto final now, arriving please, in from Kuala Lumpur. Please say it. Huh? Please say it. It's the heavy. It's heavy. It's a heavy. That's It's the correct. heavy, and what word do we describe? A mass amount of things happening at once. A crazy, hectic time. I wouldn't call it a crazy, hectic time. I'd bonanza, just call that's it, exactly There's what a it heavy is. aircraft coming. That's correct. Heavy bonanza. Yeah, all right, mate. You've got to say it. You have to do whatever it. Whatever floats your boat. you got to say it at least once. Shanghai line's not far out now either. Waiting for this version to start rolling. They're going to make it tight. Got a Rex landing on runway 27. This is taking off and Malaysia is on short finals onto runway 34. I think it's time for a new pole as well, Sam. Tokyo looks like it is the clear winner. I think you're right. Let's get a new pole up and running for you guys. And Benedict, hello from Klaus in Germany. Thanks for tuning in. Pole time is finishing up. Looks like Tokyo's the clear winner. Thanks for the poll, guys. 143 votes. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll have to take a photo of this because it's uh, going to be Tokyo as the winner. And then it's uh, Amsterdam. So we might have to go Melbourne, Tokyo, Tokyo, Amsterdam. <laughs> Amsterdam. 
Sounds good, eh? That sounds like quite the adventure there, Sam. Quite the adventure. Sure does. You looking forward to it? Oh, mate, if it happens, for sure. We'll make sure it happens, don't you worry. Nice one, folks. Thank you. Also, you know what the fun enjoys with Tokyo? What? They don't have an Uber, so you've got to explain to the taxi drivers where you want to go, and then fitting all the gear in, <laughs> and then, then calling a taxi to the spot. Oh. It's going to be... Uh, How about a hire car? I'm so glad that I have my bilingual friend, Sam, to take How about a hire car? Uh, we couldn't get one last time. Yeah, I think you're right, Geordie. It's a mammoth flight, but, you know, if we do something like um, Melbourne, Tokyo, Tokyo, AMS, and then back via HK, you know, that could work. Happy to give that a shot, you know, mate. Like, like flying doesn't bother me, really. Only if, look, if you're stuck in the economy for 14 hours, and yes. But, you know, if you're in business or at least premium economy, you know, you can just sit back and relax. Then I'm happy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think anyone in business or premium economy is fairly happy. What? I said I think anybody in premium or business Would is be, fairly happy. Yeah, of course, mate. Well, that's <laughs> the thing. I'm not flying that far if it's not going to be, you know, in a comfortable seat. So. Sometimes it's very out of our hands. Work. What's the next poll? What poll should we do? What aircraft in the heavy bonanza are you most excited for? Nah, something else. Got that Malaysia taxing to the terminal there. Terminal 2, getting ready to disembark. Qantas 380, QF94, the legacy flight, is heading down to runway 3-4, about five minutes out. Not far now. Looking forward to this one, guys. Old livery. QFA 380. Gotta love it. And Sam, what's your thoughts on Virgin Australia letting pets on board in the cabin? Uh, not the best. Don't think it's the good idea. Um... Dogs can smell, so I just don't. I just don't think it's very hygienic. Yeah, you know, there's got to <laughs> the animals could have a smell test. Yeah, like, like look, if it's on a train or a bus, like it doesn't matter because you can get off. Do you know what I mean? And they mm. get off, but you're in a capsule in the air for three, four hours. That's the thing, right? So you like can't escape it. Like, what if it lets off a massive dump? That's the problem. What if you're going from Brisbane to Perth, a four and yeah, a bit hour overnight flight? as well? Overnight, like just sure. be terrible. Like, how do you? I like, just don't, I don't think it's very hygienic at all. You can train dogs to use the bathroom outside. How would you do that on a plane? Yeah. Is it just gonna sit there and like? I, I don't know. There's like. Just sit there and brew. <laughs> it's gonna brew. What if? It, yeah, what if the dog not, gets stressed? Not my and it's favorite idea, but you know. It's an interesting one. It's a very yeah, interesting. Yeah, it is idea. an interesting one. If you have a pet lizard or something, I think it's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> and Malaysia taxing to Terminal 2 there. Whoa, and look at I that. Think this 350 is the, uh, the XSAS 350, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the product inside is still uh, the uh, SAS product. 
Ham, looks like they might make Malaysia wait for a gate. Yeah. Hold up. You gotta I wait. I always thought they parked um, remote, but I guess not today. And we have a 3 4 departure, the Jetstar A320. actually surprised a lot of people want us to do Japan that's seriously something we'll have to look into because that's a one flight thing you know what I mean why don't you do a poll on like the Jap oh, the yeah, best yeah, Japanese yeah. cities because we've got obviously Tokyo but what what about a secondary we've got Osaka Nagoya Nagoya, Japan. Nagoya Okinawa yeah, they're, they're still busy it's Japan but yeah no, it's not going to be as good as Narita. No, nothing as good as Narita in Japan. Sapporo. Oh, yeah. I think that's number four. That of Fukuoka. I think it's 1P. Yep. Hole is up. All airports have some pretty consistent traffic. Haneda. See, okay, I've never understood the appeal with Haneda over Narita. Really? I've never understood it because Haneda is... 90% or 99% gel and ANA. And you got your Starlux or Starlight yeah. or whatever it is, and you got your, your yeah. seed air or whatever, breaking it up in the middle. Yep. I've never understood. Narita it. has a lot more heavy movements and cargo. Narita is insane. The movement variety is yeah. incredible. Haneda has better spots. Yeah. But the traffic there where is. is, where is there, how many spots are there to do a live stream at Narita? Isn't there a hotel? There is. I don't know if it's open yet. Because uh, it was closed when we were there. Right. Well, I can see the Qantas A380 on final now. You can't miss that. Could you imagine the Narita at the hotel, though? Yeah. That'd be just I thought the hotel was open. Maybe it's open you back up. You just have up. to do it from inside the room, though. Yeah. yeah. It's near the cargo stands. It is. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's mostly the takeoff runway that it faces. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Miss Veritas, we're covering it based off the previous poll where people voted to choose Japan as the number one pick. So now, obviously, we're going to subcategorize it and go based off the uh, city and airport. So we're not actually choosing. The uh, viewers are choosing. But even if we were, I mean, something different. Something different, exactly. It's different yeah. to Melbourne. It's different for us. Yeah. Something new for aviation videography, myself and Matt. That's it. Got the A380. Number oh, one watched flight on flight radar right now. QF94 arriving in kidding. from LAX. 1,360 people watching it right now. Wowee, it is too. 
popular choice. There she is, the 380. We're in the old livery as well, so this is a good one. Get your popcorn, guys. You only got a minute. <laughs> Quickly, put it in the microwave. Get that. Get those kernels popping. Get them popping. Get that triple butter popcorn out. <laughs> get the Mountain Dew. Oh, not the Mountain Dew. Oh, no, Mountain Dew. Oh, that's a bad combination. That is some... Get the jumbo-sized cup full of Pepsi or Coke. Oh. Like the real movies experience. Yeah. Here it is, 380, the third 380 of the stream. It's getting better and better here at Melbourne, Sam. Sure better and is. better. Do you remember when we first started doing these Melbourne streams, how there was like... Nothing. There was like two heavies at 8 a.m. Yeah. and then nothing until 10.30? Well, I'm just glad it's the old livery. I love the look of the old livery on this one. Oh, me too. I think it's me gorgeous. Too. 30 votes so far, guys. Let's get over 100 before we close it. We need over 100 votes before we close the poll. Who's keep winning? voting, keep voting. Who's, li who's winning? Let's have a look. Haneda's winning. Wowee. Narita's just behind. Enjoy the a and in Japan. Uh, and JL... Uh, no, 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 I can't even speak. JAL special. At least they've got so many special liveries, Sam. Yeah, they do, actually. And they're all good liveries, do you know what I mean? Exactly. They're so all colourful. Awesome. Alrighty guys, enjoy this one on the big screen. This is uh, QF94 arriving in from LAX. Enjoy this one. The LAX Express. A trademark of AV. LAX Express. What a movement. There it is, old livery. The two LAX Expresses parked there. Actually, you can get all three in the one shot. There we go, LAX Express. How cool is that? Can't go wrong with... Uh QF94 there guys such an awesome movement such a capture and there she goes taxiing to her gate over there at terminal 2 Match is going to go and get some drinks for us now as we uh Continue the morning here in Melbourne. Let's keep the votes coming, guys. Keep the votes coming. Need about 100 votes before we can close the poll, so keep them coming. Got a Jetstar 320 at the end there. Taxing out to runway 34. This one's heading off to. Uh, oh, where's it going? Bustleton. That's uh, JQ900. Whoa. Look at that. Where is that? Got a landing first here. Had a very steep approach turn. There we are. 
JQ320 by the looks of it. And Louis Webster joining in from London. Says he's loving the stream. Thanks, Louis. Good to have you here, mate. Hopefully you're enjoying a different perspective of the other side of the world here in Australia. Down under, as they say. Let's get this uh, 320 on arrival here. There we are, slowing down there on runway 34. And I believe this one's just coming from Sydney is uh, JQ507, so that's another milk run. We'll head back over to JQ900 off to Bustleton, that's now lining up on runway 34 at the end there. Keep the boats rolling through guys, we need five. I mean we need a, we need a hundred. And Geordie gifting five aviation videography memberships. Absolute legend. Thanks, Geordie. Appreciate it, mate. C Vale, Louis Webster, Flaming Gala, Ray, and Silver Bullet. Big shout out and thanks to Geordie, mate. Can't thank you enough, you absolute legend. Good stuff, brother. Thanks for tuning in and enjoying the stream while doing some editing. Nothing better. And JQ900 now rolling down 3-4 for Bustleton. Here we go, guys. And rotating out there. Nice shallow rotation for the 320. Gracefully lifting out a 3-4. She'll track north. And off she goes. Alrighty. Shanghai Airlines not too far out either now, guys. But in the meantime, it's a heavy. It's a Qantas 330. I believe this one would be QF69 off to Delhi, and it is. So this is QF69, the 330-200 operating Melbourne to Delhi. Looks like the Qantas A220 as well is just lit up on flight radar off to Canberra. QJet 1266, so we'll see that shortly as well. Actually, we won't if it goes to 7. But here's the uh, Qantas 330. Nice. Uh, I think this livery just suits the 330 so well. Can't beat it. Cannot. Awesome stuff here. So this will go long right down to the end of runway 34 down to Kilo. Keep the action rolling here at AV. Big shout out to Geordie. And yes, Matt says, Geordie, you legend drinks on me next time I see you. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan.
Now Shanghai line shouldn't be too far. That's just turned on to final. So I'm wondering, will we see QF69 take off or will it hold short? I'm pretty sure it's going to hold short because Shanghai is getting a lot closer now. So we'll probably get Shanghai landing first and then get QF69 to Delhi taking off after that one. It's a big flight, this one. All the way to Delhi. Do you have the red lights? Uh, I can't tell. I can't even see the lights. But yeah, he's not going in. Shanghai's coming in first, for sure. Pilot Man, thank you for the awesome support. Let's keep the votes coming, guys. We're only at 56 votes. Let's keep them rolling through. We need at least 100 votes before we can close the poll. Alrighty, in the meantime, guys, Shanghai Airlines, 787-9, now on final for 3-4. Here we go. Let's catch, capture it. What is going on with the autofocus today? Damn. There we are, slowing down on 3-4. How awesome is that? Let's pan back over to QF69, off to Delhi, the 3.3200. She'll line up on 3-4, wait for her clearance to start rolling. And Nathan Robinson says, Hi all, it's going to be a great show with aviation videography, great show with planes landing and taking off. Thank you, Nathan. Great to have you tuning in, matey. Glad you're enjoying it and enjoying the show. Alrighty, she's lined up. We're waiting for her clearance. And Hayden. With a generous $2 tip, says, Now I'm saying the heavy bonanza. Thanks, Matt. Yes, it sure is a heavy bonanza. And thank you very much, Hayden, for the awesome support and donation. Appreciate it, matey. Alrighty, guys. QF69 on screen there. Waiting for its clearance. They got a Qantas 73 that's just taking off from runway 34 that entered at Juliet. So it won't be long. Air India is also taxiing out to to runway 34, also off to Delhi. So both flights to Delhi leaving pretty much at the exact time. They'll pro probably both arrive within 10, 15 minutes of each other back in Delhi as well, which is pretty cool. All right. 69's now rolling. Enjoy this one.
Steep takeoff there for 69. And off she goes. Now we'll pan across and back to Air India. Also off to Delhi, AI. Keep the votes coming guys, we're only at 69 votes, keep them coming. Haneda's still in the lead, Matt. Haneda? Yeah. Right, the gel special. Oh. The gel and A&A. &A with the odd Southeast Asian carrier in the mix. <laughs> I remember when I, I flew there on Dragon Air, back when they had Dragon Air. Oh, right. Back in the day. Back in the day, 2019. Yeah. Yep. Actually, what year did I go there? 2018 it was, yeah. Alrighty, QF769 to Perth just pushed back, but that's probably going to be going to 7. You'd think so, yeah. Yeah. Got another 330 pushing back as well from the international terminal. Oh, perfect. China Southern's downwind as well, arriving in from Guangzhou, CZ321. It's a heavy bonanza, as Matt likes to call it. I already said it when you weren't here, so don't get too excited. <laughs> heavy bonanza. That's all I wanted to hear. Yeah, all right. Whatever floats your boat, matey. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, bonanza, you could say. Bonanza. Floats my boat. Heavy Bonanza. And United Flight 6-0 from San Francisco, about 20 minutes out now as well. And on screen there, on final, is uh, Rex, Saab 340, arriving in from Devonport as ZL 3514. Baby Rex, little nugget. Little, little nugget. The little nugget. I just had a thought. How are the streams going to go all through April? How are the streams what, sorry? So when are you away? Until mid-April. What date do you come back? 18th. Alright, because I leave on the 12th. So I can maybe run one for you. Yeah, you might have to. Because I'll be streaming up until the 11th. Let's do as many streams as I can while you're gone. What day do you go? 23rd? 28th. 28th. So I'll have about 13 days of streaming by myself. But then I'm going away on a holiday. Strictly no spotting from the 12th until uh, the 29th. But saying that, when we're back, first week of May up to Sydney... Driving up. To the capital. Say again? Driving up to the capital. Yes. The capital of heavies. Capital of the heavy bonanza, as Matt likes to call it. He's getting onto it. The yeah, heavy I'm just bonanza. Doing it to please you, mate. <laughs> he's popped his cherry. He's popped his heavy bonanza uh, cherry and he's finally saying it. And AI lining up there on 3-4. Sabi Nugget as TriStar Darren. Yes, mate. That's right. The Sabi Nugget. Come on, guys. 80 votes. 20 more votes to go till we can close the poll. And, it, and it's a turn and burn for AI. We're rolling now. Fairly quick.
I think it's possible that it's all three four ops. Oh, that would be fantastic. Well, the Qantas 330s just, uh, I think this is the one that's going to Perth. Ah, if, yes. If that's coming to 3-4, then is. it's got to all be 3-4. And we should ops. see the A220 as well off to Canberra shortly. So this is on screen, uh, QF769 to Perth. Uh, Qantas Flight 79 to Narita's pushback as well. Don't go anywhere, guys. Plenty of heavy still to come. Stay tuned for the heavy bonanza. Got about an hour left of the stream. So I think what the final one will be the New Zealand triple seven at eleven. What as a departure? The arrival. The arrival. Um. Yes, estimated eleven a.m. arrival time. So that should be the last one we get. Literally an estimated right on eleven. So th that will be the last one we get on the stream before we have to pack it all up, call it a night, call it a day, as they say. CZ321 coming in from Guangzhou on a runway 34. 7879 Dreamliner. There she is. 84 votes, guys. Come on. 16 more. Let's do it. We need to get to 100 before we close the polls. The polls are closing. Oh wow, I was just reading. Etihad Airways Cargo now has a fourth triple seven freighter, a part of their fleet. Good good stuff to see. It's actually pretty cool to have a look at those Arabian Airlines and their cargo ops because you know, you look at Emirates, they had the uh seven forty seven freighters. Right? And then they got rid of them. Qatar got and then the they had to lease more from Kalida recently because yeah. they had too much uh, demand and not enough capacity. Yeah. And then Qatar has had the 747-8s. Now it's got rid of them and they've given them to uh, UPS. Now they've only got solely the 777 freighters. And Eddie had. They had 74 freights as well. Well, here's the thing, right, about Qatar. They got rid of their 8s. All well and good. But you know what else they did? What? They're leasing the ACT 747-400 BCFs. In the summertime, they leased the Compass 747 for their freight ops. It just it just doesn't seem right. It might be cheaper for them to lease them during summer than own... It's got to be something to do with maintenance. Huh? It's got to be something to do with maintenance or something. Like It's got to be like a cost they're trying to dodge. Yeah. Like having their own aircraft. 
There's 769 gracefully lifting out a runway 34 off to Perth. Sounds like my driving. Yeah. <laughs> and Miss Wolf 13, 350 likes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much, everybody. 350 likes. Can't go wrong with that one. Big support. Big thanks to everybody in the chat and everybody who's been watching the stream today. Can't thank you enough. It's been a fun morning so far out here at Melbourne. Quantas 737800 there on final for Rummy 34. That one is arriving in from Sydney as QF423. Nine more votes, guys. Nine more votes till we conclude this poll. I wonder who's winning. I can't actually see on that screen. Uh, Hanita. Oh, it's, I don't think nine votes is going to change that. Smoking it. Jesus. Smoking it. Wowee. Wowee. Hanita. Crazy. Might as well just end the poll. Looks like everyone wants Haneda. Good stuff. And Geordie says, Right, guys, I'm going to club bed. <laughs> Early morning at Schiphol tomorrow. Have fun for the last hour and see you soon. Thanks, Geordie. Thanks, you absolute legend. Really do appreciate your support on this stream today, mate. It's been good to have you here. Um, and thanks for gifting the memberships as well. We'll chat to you. Have a nice night. And um, we'll see you on the next stream, mate. And enjoy the 20 plus Delta flights in the morning. Yes. <laughs> Delta's second home base. Mm. Apart from Atlanta. AMS. I was going to say it's Amsterdam, Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Jordy. Have a good one, mate. Alrighty, QF79 down there at the end of runway 34, off to Narita. First is a landing. Oh, what do we got? Virgin. We've got a Virgin 737800. Let's have a look where that one's coming in from, guys. Uh, appears to be Velocity 212 from Adelaide, across from the uh, the west, as they say. West side, best side. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and have your notifications on. It really helps the channel and you're notified when we're live next. Thanks, TriStar Darren, for putting that out there, everybody. Yes, check that out. I will pin that message. Thanks so much, TriStar Darren. Ah, nice one, Jordy. 3-6 left, landing, so Asia inbound aircraft. Got uh, Wait, another what? Qantas... Three six left landings. Am I th that's Polderbarn. Yeah. I didn't think they ever landed that way. That's crazy good. Yeah, that's why I'm telling you. You've got to get over there ASAP. Wow, we. AMSAP. AMSAP. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Uh, on screen there is a Qantas Link Dash 8 Q300 now rolling down as uh, Q-Link 205 on off to Devonport. Damn. We've got to move the selfie cam over here, I think. We've got to move the pole over there. Yeah, I know. Do you reckon we could put the selfie cam over here? That'd be too much in the way. You mean like put it that there? Be too much in the way of this, won't it? We could try it. Because it looks so. 
We're yeah, really, washed out. Yeah, washed out bad. Let's try and make an adjustment for the selfie cam for everybody, maybe. We'll see how we go. Not All too right. sure. What do you <laughs> think, or should we just leave it? Give it a try. Why not? I can take care of the camera. Alrighty. We'll give it a shot. And you can plug it into this battery. Alright, so we might get Sam on camera here by accident. While we film the arrivals. If the camera permits. There we go. And Matthew Watts just said, if you want some close-up images you can't get, I can supply. I work airside. Wow, we you lucky guy. Working airside. See, that's, that's always a dream. Being able to have free reign with your camera while working airside. I know in Melbourne it's not so easy. Apparently they even take your phones when you start your shift. He's hard at work here. The man himself. Looks good. Looks good, I must say. Does it? Did you change the dial so it's not overexposed? Yeah. Wow, the Mr. Solutions himself. <laughs> see if this is any better. Gotta adjust it a little bit. <laughs> he got the car in the back. <laughs> I think it has to be moved back more. Guys, we're going to try and give him a bit of a hand here. Sorry, we'll, we'll skip that virgin for now. How's that look? Actually, yeah, that's pretty good. That doesn't look too bad. That's a lot easier. Yeah, right. And look, we can look directly at it. It's it's a nice height. Yeah. We're looking straight at the camera at instead the of camera. looking down. And then looking down and then up and breaking your back. So, yeah, right, right. Looks a little bit better here, guys, I think. Although yeah. the car's in the background, <laughs> it does look better. <laughs> Just cover the license plate. Oh, they, they're keeping it nice and tight here, though. We've got the they QF79. 79. Yeah. And then just behind our new little camera set, <laughs> we got the United 777 coming in. From uh, SFO, but keeping it, yeah, very tight. Yeah, that's that's interesting. That is that is tight. Man, ATC, uh, wow, that's got to be a missed approach. If the, you know, if that camera blocks the missed approach. <laughs> oh come on, that is so tight. There's no way they're gonna do it. No way. I love how the one time you set the camera up is yeah, the only time that like I can't get them in frame now. There we go. It's right there. Oh my god. <laughs> what is with the autofocus on this today? It's been pretty shocking. It has, hasn't it? There we go. Alright, we'll see if this turns into a missed approach, eh? Oh, this has to be. It's going to land before the Qantas is even in the air. Yeah, Qantas is... Whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cornus is still rolling. Still rolling. Cornus is still hasn't taken off. Alright, Cornus just took off from the runway. Just left the runway. Damn, I thought that would that that was close. I don't think they're allowed to do that. He'd have a lot of wind shear still. I mean jet wash, sorry. There it is. There it is. So, split cam back in a better spot now, Much I think. better. Much, Much better, better spot. I might just tone it, at, tone it down a little bit more. For the dial? Yeah. yeah. Just make it on negative 0.3. Because that will usually do the job. Usually. All right, Mr. Solutions. That's looking a lot better. Yeah. There we go. We're back on screen a lot, a lot better now, guys. Sweet. Looking good, mate. Oh, you think so? Uh, that's pretty cool, man. I mean, just the outlook <laughs> of it. Don't be smart. <laughs> Corner 737 off at runway 34. Taxiway Kilo. Where's it off to? Let's have a look on flight radar. Rolling down 3-4 right now is off to... Oh, Auckland has QF-151. International. Jet Connect. Good, Kevin. If you like to just watch planes, you can go watch some 4K footage on the channels, no problem. There's a reason why we do commentary live streams, Kevin. Back to the planes. Back to the planes, <laughs> some would like. There's a uh, corner seven three seven eight hundred now on final. This one's arriving in from Debsar as a QF forty six. Oh, it's a Debsar flight. It is indeed. Yes, coffee's already... We've already had the coffees this morning, Dijon. Went and got a vanilla latte a little bit earlier, which was good. Did my vanilla latte survive? Uh, it's still here, yeah. Oh, sweet. Yours is this one. It's Great. I thought the wind knocked it's it over. It's cold, though. Yeah, I know. Iced vanilla latte. It yes, still works. <laughs> indeed. Uh, down the end of runway 3-4 at Kilo is uh, Jetstar A321neo off to the Sunshine Coast. But in the meantime, as you can see there on screen, Air New Zealand... Off to Christchurch, the 320 Neo. Looks like it's going to be our next international departure. Definitely. Someone's doing the rounds in the car park. Hello. And there goes the Jetstar A321 Neo.
And we got a Jetstar A321 Neo coming in on runway 34. Windy landing there. It's all happening here, guys. We've got everything taxing up to runway 34. Including our next arrival, which is going to be the special livery Jarman 787. Coming in from Jarman. Who would have thought, right? And just trying to get that on flight radar for the flight number. There we go. It's going to be operating as MF803. Sorry about that, guys. Just had a, um, a lady come around to see what we were up to. All good? Yeah, all good. She was just interested in the filming. Oh, yeah. Said the setup looks pretty cool. Alrighty guys, this is Shaman. That's MF803. Slowing down there on runway 34. Gotta love that vibrant livery, livery oh, though. I know. The one thing you can see as well, well, at least I can see on the screen, is the intricate details of the tail. Yeah. There's all the little yeah, markings yeah, yeah, and symbols right. on it for that the That wasn't there before, though. No, it wasn't, was it? So they've added that they've on. They've added that. They've, they've improved the special livery. Yeah, looks awesome. Yeah, very, very cool. Our next international departure is lined up, going to Christchurch, the Air New Zealand A320-200 from Christchurch. Dude, let's get a nice close-up shot of that one for you guys. Just waiting for the Air New Zealand to go. And there she we goes. go. Bit of a traffic jam here now at Juliet. Got a Virgin 7-3 off to N Nandy. Nardi, sorry. Corner 7-3 off to the sunny coast. Corner 7-3 off to Cairns. Corner 7-3 off to Sydney. Rec 7-3 off to Sydney as well. So, yes, a traffic jam indeed.
bit of a 7-3 lineup here. <laughs> yeah, it's never no ending. kidding. It's the mid-morning traffic jam rush with the uh, Virgin 7-3 there off to N Nardi. Corner 7-3 off to the Sunny Coast and another corner 7-3 off to Cairns. And that's a, just a Juliet up a kilo. We've got two more 7-3s. Two more 7-3s, both off to Sydney. Yeah, right. The noon shuttle services. Yeah. Oh, look at that UN. Oh, oh yeah. Well, no, we've got to... Forget the 7-3s. Forget, forget the 7-3s. The 7-8 three. Three. is calling with this awesome livery here from Shaman. Seducing us. Oh, it's so vibrant. It's so seductive. Look at it. Sublime. <laughs> Sublime, you could say. Captivating livery. Captivating. Sure is, mate. Sure is. Here we go. We can get a uh, proper decent look at the back of it now. Yeah, look at that. Wonderful. That's it. So we look should that, still look, get... The, you're, you're, on, you're on the back. Say again? You're on the back there. You're, you're the second person to the left. That's incredible. Oh my god, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the UN livery. <laughs> That is amazing. Congratulations, mate. <laughs> Quality stuff. Uh, so having a look on the flight <laughs> radar, we should still get SQ237 coming in from Singapore as well as QF38 from Singapore on the stream as well. So don't go anywhere, guys. Currently lined up there is uh, Corner 737-800 off to the sunny coast. Now rolling down runway 34, operating as QF920. Let's get this one on the big screen for you there. Oh, the A220's rolling out. Oh, it is. Qantas's new A220. Got to get a close-up of this one. You can still look and see it's shining in the light. And the Jetstar 787's coming around from behind the terminal as well. Ah, yes, that one's off to Dempasar. Let's get a quick look at that A220. Ah, oh, look at that. It's shining in that light. Sparkling. Almost like it's a new plane. Oh, look, the, the cyclist behind it's racing it. Oh, yeah. The, it's behind the tower right now. The intense battle between man and machine. <laughs> Crazy stuff there. Look at that. Oh, he's actually winning. From this perspective, he's winning. He's gaining ground. From this perspective, yes. <laughs> From this perspective. He's zooming. Actually, he's going impressively fast. Man wins. Man wins. He's so fast, he's off the screen. This is the new A220 that Qantas is using to replace the 717s and the Qantas Link fleet. And only just recently, I think this month, they began doing commercial services. And as Sam said, we have the Jetstar 787 going to be operating the Dempasar flight. The operating bus. as a JQ-43. JQ-43. And looks like they're going to send that one to Juliet. Looking forward to it, guys. We've got a bit of a lineup still. Ronald 
Roy Pixels 1920. G'day. Thanks for tuning in. We've got our two specials there holding short on a taxiway at Juliet. Donald Roy, we're going till about 11 a.m. today, but we might have a surprise for you a little bit later. We will let you know. More 737 departures for us on today's stream. Following the Qantas is going to be the Rex 737 as well. Good day, Arthur. Tuning in there from Rio de Janeiro. All the way from Brazil. Hope you're enjoying the show, mate. Great to have you. Alrighty. I'm surprised Jetstar's using Juliet for the 7-8. Yeah, the Dempas, uh, Dempasar one's generally... Yeah. There's like a 50-50 chance. Yeah. It's a short flight for a 7-8. So they'll get the Rex 7-3 to go kilo, but the Jetstar 7-8 to go short. Oh, look short. how early it rotated. Whoa, look at that. It's a rocket. Sure is. And Donald Roy says, QF93 on the 2nd of sep September, will you guys be streaming? <laughs> oh, if we're here, we'll do our best. We'll <laughs> note it down in the books. <laughs> That's quite far away to be really we'll give it a shot, in. though. I don't even know what country I'm going to be in the 2nd of September. Yeah, neither. Quantus and there Link. it is, the A220. Qantas Link. Glistening in the sun. Glistening. Where's this off to? Canberra? Yes, it is. This is uh, off to Canberra's QJet 1266.
Still has that new plane glow on that A220 there. Awesome. I would hope so. It's only two months old. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, we've got an arrival here on 3-4. Another one. Looks like a 737 from Virgin. Is that a 700? I think uh, it is. I think it is. Is this an X little nugget from AMS? It X is. X little nugget. So this is uh, Velocity 1590 from Newcastle. The X Bart little nugget. <laughs> <laughs> XKLM uh, 737-700 there slowing down on runway 34 it's come from Bartland <laughs> Bartland <laughs> Bartopia <laughs> Bartopia <laughs> if only Bart was in the chat that's it well guys if you're new to aviation videography welcome my name's Sam I'm joined here with Matt from HD Melbourne Aviation good day everybody we're out here on... I was very aggressive here with Matt. <laughs> out here on the 16th of March, 2024. Current time, 10.20. Yep, yep. So it's been a good morning so far, guys. Yeah, we've Have been at this now for like four and a half hours. Yeah, been at this since 6 a.m. But, you know, we are ending the stream in about half an hour's time. Already? Wow. But, 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 there's a surprise for a little bit later. Will we be back tonight? Turkish does come. Turkish does come. And we've only got limited time to get the 787s here. Yes, because they're switching to the 350s. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. So many decisions to be made. Mm. What are we going to do? I think we should put a poll up. Yes. Well, oh, look at the faded virgin there. <laughs> yeah, wow. Look at the tail on that. Yep. Very much faded. The V is not intact there. No. Yeah, it's the most washed out part. And here goes JQ forty three. Singapore 237, currently 17 minutes out. Try start Darren says you can see the coffee kicking into me. <laughs> Jumping off the walls. I like this one. Bartopia Bartland, aka Netherlands. Okay, <laughs> Netherlands. Oh, he's gonna hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if people start joining your stream and saying welcome to Bartopia? <laughs> Look at Bartland. Bartland. <laughs> He'd be so confused. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it'd be so funny though. Oh god. Bartland. I'm not sure why everybody's saying this. <laughs> We've got another arrival as well on runway 34. Alright, Jetstar A320 coming in on runway 34. <laughs> I 
I'm so distracted by the chat and Bartland, I can't even pay attention to the arrivals. Lots of action here today. Always great when they use runway 3-4 as the main runway of operations. So guys, I'm Matt from HD Melbourne Aviation and we are out here today catching all the runway 3-4 arrivals this morning. We're going to be streaming for the next 30 minutes or so. Our last one's going to be the Air New Zealand 777-300 from Auckland. It's been pretty tremendous since they've switched to 3-4. I've been, I've had my work cut out for me while Sam's been handling the computer and the chat and everything. Uh, it's been a fantastic morning, really. Just nice and sunny, perfect weather, and this is all you could really ask for. Uh, so we're going to have another busy 30 minutes for the remainder of the stream. We've got Singapore A350 coming in. We have the Qantas A330 from Singapore coming in. Uh, I do believe the Singapore A350 is meant to go as well. I think it's just pushed back now. So, plenty of heavy still to go, so I do hope you guys are enjoying, and stay tuned for the last 30 minutes of the stream. <laughs> no, 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 Bartland. <laughs> oh, please. If you guys do watch V1 Aviation and tune into his streams, please, just without context, start saying welcome to Bartland or ah oh, nice weather in Bartland today <laughs> like he will genuinely be so confused he'll have no idea what's going on and I think that is hilarious got another Jetstar A320 coming in here on runway 34 It's going to be operating a milk run as Jetstar 509 from Sydney. Kissing at runway three four. Taxing out from terminal two, we have the Singapore A three fifty nine hundred operating as SQ two three eight. At least we managed to get one of the Singapore A350 departures for the stream. In the morning there is two, and we did unfortunately miss one because it went to runway 27. So second time is the charm this morning, that's for sure. Good morning, Jacobus. Joining in from Perth. Glad you're enjoying the content, mate. And seeing what's happening on the other side of the country. Perth would be one place I'd love to do a live stream from. I just love Perth Airport. The variety of the FIFO and uh, mining charters is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. 
And of course, we got the well, South African. I think they're starting up again in April in Perth, which should be a pretty cool catch with the A350s. And Miss Wolves, thanks for joining. Much appreciated as always. Have a good rest and hopefully see you on the next one. Always a pleasure chatting with you on the live streams. An amazing I see aeroplanes tuning in from on board. Yeah, mate, we caught your A3 A220 departure. Enjoy your flight to Canberra. Hopefully not too bumpy, as it is quite windy here in Melbourne today. So hopefully it was a nice, smooth climb out for you. Our next arrival is going to be the 737-800 from Qantas. Trying to open flight radar and film without looking. There we go. This is coming in from Brizzy as a QF611. There we go. Kissing runway 34 there. Couldn't ask for a better arrival. And pilot man, I think there is. I think there may be. Just gonna have to wait and find out. So we're going to have almost a double Singapore 350 movement here. Yeah. Singapore 350 237 is on, uh, what was that, right hand bank, right, right base, isn't it? Right base. Uh, left base. Left base. So and the other one is holding short yeah, on runway so 34. Currently we've got SQ 237 on left base. That's the 350 900 as well. United's pushed back. United's pushed back. Wait, United's pushed back. Oh, wow. That's early. Yeah. I thought that went at like 11. Off to LAX. Okay. We'll take it. Sweet. Good way to end the stream. We're getting Indeed. a lot of heavies in the last 20 minutes or so. Whoa. Whoa. Not going to lie. I don't like how the that's set up. That tripod can fall over from the wind. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, I can reach it if it starts falling. Nah, it's alright, it's alright. If it does start, I can I can catch it. Alright, lining up here to runway 34, we have SQ238.
Sorry guys, just had to move the selfie cam there. In the meantime, let's get SQ238 on the big screen. Now rolling down runway 34 off to Singers. And SQ237 is on final, so nearly got a double, but not quite. Heavy bonanza, Sam. Indeed Heavy it is. bonanza. Awesome stuff. Apparently the audio's dropping out. What's going on there? Maybe have a listen. On the phone. So you can see in the distance there we have the Singapore A350 on final approach for runway 34. Shortly as well, we're going to have QF38 from Singapore coming in and the Air New Zealand 777 as well in about 15 minutes coming in just before 11. The United 787 has pushed back along with the Qantas A330 which is going to be heading towards... Actually, that's a good question. I have no idea where it's going. It's not on flight radar just yet. But regardless, we have an action-packed way to end the stream. So many heavies. Should be good now, guys. And we can see that United off to Los Angeles, still waiting around for its departure.
Giuseppe says, hey, new to the channel, can see live stream coming out of Melbourne. Thanks, Giuseppe. Good to have you here, mate. Thanks for tuning in. Got United heading up towards runway 344. Its departure is UA99. Wearing the dazzling new livery. I love the light blue tip on the tail. I think it really adds just quite a bit of contrast. Before its departure, we're going to have a Velocity 737 coming in as VA826 from Sydney. Oh, it's got the split skivlets as well. And Nikoi Star, hello. And we did catch the Qantas A380 land in from LAX a little earlier as QF94. It was really cool to see it, mate. We're in the old livery. Heavy bonanza going on here. Qantas flight QF38 coming in on finals. Along with the United 787 as well. Almost at the end of runway 3-4. And George. Becoming a Boeing 737 class member. Thanks, George. Welcome aboard. Do hope you enjoy the perks. Good to have you here, mate. So there's our Qantas 330 coming in from Singapore. QF38. In New Zealand, it's like two minutes away. And New Zealand will be the last one. Then we're going to wrap up. But guys, I think we should announce our our little secret, Sam. Yes. Can you hear me better now? Hopefully you can hear me a little bit better now. Sorry about that, TriStar Darren. Had to adjust something with the microphone there. And yes, the surprise. The next stream. When is it going to be, Matt? You tell me, Sam. You, you tell, tell me, me. mate. <laughs> Maybe tonight. How are we feeling about tonight, guys? How are we feeling about a night stream? Catching the Turkish once again. Catching the Turkish 787TK once again. And Nikoi Star will finish up in the next couple of minutes, but we will be back tonight from 8pm. So make sure you do stick around. Be definitely back tonight. 8pm start here in Melbourne. We're going to schedule the stream, so watch out for it. There's the Qantas 330 there. Look at that. Awesome stuff there. Touching down on runway 34. Arriving in from Singers. The second Singers flight for Qantas today. We had 36 land earlier. Now 38. Alrighty, we should see United lining up now. Yeah, and looks like it's a big hit. Yes, please, cool. 
Everyone wants some night action in tonight. Tristar Darren, nice. Love the Mel night action. Sounds good, guys. Well, we've got a bit of it to come up tonight, so we're going to schedule the stream. Watch out for the scheduled stream. Turn your notifications on, guys. Sparks. Hello from near Toronto, Canada. Just found you. Thanks, Sparks. Thanks for tuning in, Sparks. Hope you're enjoying it. Alrighty, UA 99 now rolling runway 34 off to LAX. Long rolling run there. Awesome. All right. Any right. Zealand not far now, guys, on final. So we'll see that shortly coming in. There's QF38 on the screen there, the one that just arrived in from Singapore. So I just want to say a big thanks to everyone who's tuned into the stream today. It's been really good to have you here. I'm Sam from Aviation Videography. This is Matt from Day HD. Guys. And it's been a great morning out here so far. So make sure, guys, if you're going to be around later, turn your notifications on so you'll see when we're going to be streaming next. It's going to be tonight, 8 p.m. local Melbourne time. We'll so put it everywhere okay. on online, on social media to promote it. That's it. So in nine hours' time, we'll be live again. Live again. Wow. It's going to be good fun. We just can't stay away from Melbourne Airport. It's too good. And Spark says, lovely to see my friends down under. It is 7.48 p.m. March 15th here. Wow. Well, glad to have you on board here, Starks. Definitely. And Spark, the, sorry. Starks. Nikoi sorry, Star man. asks, when will be when will you be doing another weekend stream apart from tonight? Mm. We'll let you know tonight. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll plan something. We have to we have to look at the runways as well. So yeah. Melbourne, you saw this morning, it was supposed to be all three four and it took until like ten AM for them to swap. Because we yep. were expecting a busy stream, but then you miss half the stuff. Because a lot of it went to seven, unfortunately. Yeah, it's really it's dependable on the weather, but we'll figure something out. We'll definitely figure something out. We'll let you guys know on the stream tonight. Between now, when we're in the stream now and tonight's one, we're going to be doing a bit of editing. I'm I'm going to be flat stick editing. We'll just do a bit of research on what's going on with the runways because I do believe they're doing construction as well. Just do a bit of research and we'll let you know tonight what our plan is. Even if they close a runway, it's going to be between eleven and twelve. Yeah. Somewhere around. But we'll there. still get Turkish taking off, hopefully. We should get Turkish. We'll see. We'll do our best. Alrighty, guys. Air NZ now on final for 3 4. Coming in from Auckland. Let's get this one on the big screen. Sparks just subscribed. Thanks, Sparks. Absolute legend. Thanks for tuning in. Glad you found us, Sparks. Another viewer from Canada. Specifically, Toronto. We'll dedicate this one to you, matey. Is there an Air NZ, the Boeing 777 300ER, flight NZ121, now on flight Shaking around in the wind. There we have it. That's the morning stream. What a morning it's been. 
Indeed. Alrighty, guys. It's been a good one here. Really do appreciate everyone tuning in. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Aviation Videography. Next stream will be tonight at 8 p.m. at local time. Nine hours time from now, so keep that in mind. Put it on your calendars. Set an alarm. Do whatever you need to do to be there for the Turkish 787 arrival. Indeed, it's going to be a good one. On behalf of myself and Matt, big thanks to everyone for tuning in and all the support we've had today. It's been a really good stream. I've enjoyed it. Matt's enjoyed it. And I'm sure we're going to enjoy tonight. It's going to be a good one. Absolutely. Right. Done. We're going to need a lot of coffees. We are. <laughs> you're going to brew some coffee and bring it, yeah? I'm going to brew some coffee. Bring all it right. in the big one. you got a big thermos. Yep. Big thermos. Done. He's going to bring the big thermos out. I'm going to make it so strong it's going to make you sick. Perfect. I'm more than okay with that. <laughs> no I'd, problem. I'd rather be nervous from like an elevator. Like not yeah. nervous. Um, uh, like you, you know the, the beating heart feeling? Yeah, yeah. I'd rather have that, the pit yep. in my stomach versus being tired. Yep, I know what you mean. Yeah. Alrighty. Take care, guys. We'll see you tonight. We're signing off now. 8 p.m. Nine hours from now. We'll see you then. All right? We're going right. to promote it on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So we'll see be you Be there guys or be then. square. See you there. Be there or be square. That's right. All right. Take care, guys. All the best for the rest of your day. <laughs> this is for you. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs>